Do you guys like pizza? I know I do. I love pizza. I'm Italian. I'm disappointed that since I moved out here to the West Coast, there is not really authentic East Coast Italian style pizza out here. Would you like to have a pizza party with me? Pizza pie! Mega the pizza pie! Greasy shit! Pizza pie! Felipe! Pizza pie! <laughs> pizza pie! Lucio pizza pie! Weird sauce! Pizza pie! Crazy meat! Pizza pie! <laughs> Mamma mia! Mega the pizza pie! Pizza pie! Felipe! Pizza pie! Stop being hurt on the always! Mozzarella! And the Lucio! Second and third of them! Roll it out the one! Toss in the air! Pizza pie! Mega the pizza pie! Pizza pie! Felipe! Pizza pie! Pizza pie! Lucio! Pizza pie! Pizza pie! Pizza pie! Bernardi Owens! Salvagno cheese! Salvagno greasy shit! Crazy meat! Weird sauce! The sauce has these big chunks of tomato that are very well seasoned that are really good. Burn on the ovens and burn all the pizzas. Mamma mia! Mega the pizza pie! Pizza pie! Felipe! Pizza pie! Burn on the ovens! Mozzarella! And the Lucio! Look at the dog on them! Roll it out the one! Toss in the air! Pizza pie! Mega the pizza pie! Greasy shit! Pizza pie! Felipe! Pizza pie! Weird sauce! Pizza pie! Lucio! Pizza pie! Pizza pie, pizza pie, mamma mia, make it a pizza pie. Hey man, I want you to suck it. Pizza pie, Felipe, pizza pie, burn on the always, mozzarella, and delicious. Suck it and all of them, roll it out, even toss in the air. Pizza pie, make it a pizza pie. Piece of shit, pizza pie, Felipe, pizza pie, cheese. Pizza pie, Lucio pizza pie, weird sauce, pizza pie, crazy meat, pizza pie, burn on the ovens. What a story, Mark. Now on to the more exotic seasonings. And these seasonings are catered more towards Italians. If you're not Italian, you don't like these kind of seasonings, you don't have to use them. But I'm Italian, I love it. Stop being dense. This one's for all my baby girls. I ain't left you. I ain't never gonna leave you. I'm always gonna love you. I'm always gonna flirt on you. I'm always gonna push up on you. But right now, I'm drinking. Drink it, drink. I'm drinking. Whale, tail, for no reason. Am I gay? Hell yeah. Um, but right now, I'm stalking and I'm lurking and rapping for no reason. Am I gay? Hell yeah. And I'm drinking. Whale tail. Drink it, drink. I'm drinking and rapping for no reason. Am I gay? Hell yeah. But right now. I'm drinking dirty dishes from the holiday weekend. I'm drinking whale tail. I'm drinking. I'm stalking and I'm lurking and I'm drinking whale tail gin. Stop being dense. That's right. This is the United States of Phil. I am the supreme being. I make the rules, and when I say go, so, uh, this is not a place for you to stand on your soapbox and complain about censorship and freedom of speech. Because the bottom line is, you don't have freedom of speech. This is my land. Control is desire. This desire. I'm drinking. This desire. I'm drinking. Stop it! Stop it! What? Desire. Devour. Take. Do what gives you pleasure. That's the go. And fuck everyone else. <laughs> Devour. That's cool, motherfucker. Control is desire.
money. That I just can't help it. I'm so just enveloped in greed and money. I need money. I need money. Her take. Do what gives you pleasure and Stop being fuck dead. everyone else. I'm drinking. Why? Jasper. Jasper just did that. My dog Jasper just did that. This desire. Why, 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 why? This desire. Suck it up. Why am I talking about my wife? Why am I Why, 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 why? Why am I Why do you say gentlemen? Why? Devour. What? Desire. Dead. Do what gives you pleasure. Jasper, 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 Jasper. And fuck everyone else. Jasper. What? Devour. Jasper, Jasper, Jasper. Control is desire. Jasper, Jasper, Jasper. Take. I'm drinking. Control Suck, 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 Stop being dense. Control is desire. Stop being dense. Calm. Take. Stop being dense. Control. Calm. Take. Devour. You know what I mean? What's up? Welcome to this stream. Oh, I got myself some beers and we're gonna be drinking. I'm drinking. And uh, lurking. I'm about to blow. <laughs> I love this one. This is great. Anyways, um, so you don't get clickbaited. Let's address the, the topic in the title. Uh, Phil lost his check mark. Baller alert. And that, that's it. <laughs> that that's basically it because they're rolling out the legacy check marks so people like i guess maximilian dude as you can see he's still check marked uh this is not the actual twitter that i'm using but it's still the same data so yeah he doesn't have a check mark and i wish i could show you the real twitter but i'm blocked there uh but actually i could uh and uh today he's gonna tell you how this is actually not a big deal and how he doesn't care and I mean that's that's about it. Let's uh let's find out. Uh, they call me DSP. And there we go. Yeah, you can't see it. He got cucked. He got cuckified by Elon. And uh, speaking of Elon, he is doing some cringe shit again. He renamed or some like weird banner in the Twitter HQ and renamed it to Titter. So. Uh, because it's funny and then he renamed himself i think uh hold on elon musk he renamed himself to hairy balls <laughs> <laughs> what a story mark 
Carry balls. Wow, that's that's phenomenal and hilarious and great, dude. You should keep doing stuff like that. That is very funny. And um Hey, Phil is live. And this this dude made me start thinking, because there's like these things that I haven't thought about, even though I've been watching his dumb shit for a long time. Uh this dude legitimately shows up in his office like one or two minutes before the stream actually has to go live. It's ridiculous how sloppy he is with that shit. It's ridiculous how lazy he is. Oh, but anyways, uh, is there something interesting that happened? I know he had this react event. I know he got taken down again because he's super transformative. Um, I know he was sleeping again, I think. Um, what's the thing called? Let's go see what Snort Burnell has been up to. Is the guy that still exists uh whining over touchpad oh yeah he spilled water on his touchpad because and i've i've uh, noticed this before i've pointed it out he drinks fucking seltzer water he doesn't put the cap on the cap is always off it's ridiculous and it's like he takes the, the bottle of water he carries it through the the whole fucking uh, setup and then he drinks and then he puts it back no cap ridiculous and then i guess he spilled it but then it got fixed because it's it's fucking phil it is fucking phil <laughs> i love this intro man it's one of those like most classic things ever imagine oh watching this with like a complete like a random outsider to this shit and trying to tell them, dude, this is classic. Yeah. This is a classic. Watch, watch this. Intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Okay, uh, big ups. I'm drinking. Uh, big ups to K Bone for the sub and Steve Sounds for good. the sub, Sounds and also a bunch of renewed memberships. It doesn't do anything. Most of which, big ups to Blooper for 18 months, Alex Monty for 16. You're telling me because Shut I the fuck up, dude. Let's let's give some quick shout outs to appreciate the people's long standing and consistent support. Uh, Coroner 13, Tyler Grimmy 14, Decepticon for two, Gojira 15, Michael Krinikowski for 15, Jeffrey Oman 14, my channel 6, Chris Legendary 10, Larry B6. They should be sued into oblivion. What is happening? Oh, yeah, it's my song playing. And um, a big drink for all of you. Um, and additionally, Scumbag Josh 17, Mind of the North Star 15. And I think that's it. I think I got them all. And Killer Grooves for one. And says I'm lurking and drinking. That's good. I'm drinking. Congrats, everybody. I'm drinking. Spilled a little bit of seltzer water on top of my Spilled laptop. A little my touchpad bit. is now busted permanently. You gotta be joking. Oh my god. So now I gotta get a fucking mouse to even use this thing. I'm starting to get upset. <laughs> He's starting to get I'm starting upset. To get very upset. Put the cap on then. I guess I have to get a mouse, or else I can't use it. Isn't oh, that great? This dude is so ridiculous, man. It's so fascinating. Salt. Oh yeah, I saw uh, there was a there was an account called Emil H who gifted fifty memberships to the side scrollers. So I don't know. That's that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying because that's all I know and that's all I can prove because I've seen the actual chat. So that's it. It who says the, the I'm drinking? I'm drinking. The same guy who says I'm lurking. Of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, which is uh, Shamar Moore. He's um, a D-list actor. He used to be in uh, Criminal Minds. And he's lurking. And he's drinking. I'm drinking. It was F7. So without the function, F7 just disables and re-enables the touchpad. Okay, that's what it was. It was a simple, stupid... Okay, good. Thank God. Thank you for telling me that. I appreciate that. Let me unplug the shitty mouse now. Crisis averted. What a stupid thing. So it's like, in order to know how to use your computer, you have to have a spare computer over here that you already know how to use just in case something goes wrong with this computer, you can access it from this computer. Like, what? what? I don't know. It just seemed really dumb to me. <laughs> Everything is dumb. I waited 10 minutes. Dude, I, I don't know what this is. It must be dumb. <laughs> Trying to get the touchpad working. I love the DSP insight and elaboration and like his his thought process i don't know what this is it's dumb okay sound good
when it never should have been disabled in the first place because I, I spilled a little bit of seltzer on my laptop and I'm dabbing it to dry it off. Disable half your computer. What? Like, why? That's so dumb. The funny part is I've had this laptop for almost two years. Everything is dumb. You know, and I don't really do stuff like that. I'm usually pretty good around it. So it's like, just to show how common an accident can happen. You could have something for years and years and think you know all about it and accidentally fuck it all up. Bro, you know right. nothing about it. Keep like, yeah, the, the, the dude actually, actually knows nothing about fucking laptops and PCs and computers. Come on. I built gaming PCs for a hobby, so I know all about it and I know how it works, right? I used to be in that group of people who I wanted to play everything on PC. Like, I, I used to be one of you. <laughs> the good news is the crisis was averted, right? But, uh, it was kind of annoying. Now I gotta be careful around this thing. God forbid I sneeze and I accidentally, like, destroy the, the, the screen or something. Or disable it for, for hours. Okay. But it would be great today if you're enjoying the content, if you're gonna chill with me today for the end of Metroid Prime, if you could support the stream in any way. I really got, like, 500 bucks just in tips. Just in tips, like, two days ago. Bruh. Appreciate it, because this is the only stream I'm doing today. This is the only I'll stream. Be and again. You. I'm expecting today to be a very slow day, attendance, engagement, and support. This is one of my favorite DSP gimmicks. When he tells you straight off the bat, is that what it's called? Straight from the beginning, that he expects that you're not going to give him money. And then when you have to prove him wrong, you have to be like, Here, Phil, here's a hundred dollars. You see, you were fucking wrong. Because it's Easter Sunday, so a lot of people are busy. It's Passover. So, a lot of people are busy, and it's I'm passing Metroid away, Prime, which has been the least watched playthrough I have done ever. Oh, we need a fact check on this. This could be a, a, a classic moment for the for those archivers, the archivists. Is it the least classic ever? So, this is a finale, uh, the rage filled triple boss finale, parentheses final, just so you know. Uh, then we got, what is this, Metro? Wow, yeah, I mean, dude, come on. This, this is like some, some ass views. I'm sure he has fans that have better views than him on shit like this. Uh, let's see the other ones. Where are they? Oh, yeah, legitimately, he got five days old videos with 190 views. <laughs> <laughs> five days old. Five days old. Dude, and in uh, episodes 14 and 15, maybe he'd done something that is worth clicking on the video for. I have no idea why there's, there's such a massive difference in views. Um, then we got a 7-day-old video with 288 views. This is ridiculous, man. Then we got another 7-day-old video. 285. This dude got really low ratings. He really needs to, like, own up some more memes. Just to get some extra bucks. How much did that drama drama video get about the copyright strikes? There we go, almost 10k. That is awesome. Awesome. I know uh, the villain. The villain makes awesome YouTube videos. Let's get derailed up a slight tiny bit. Uh, the villain. I, I don't fucking know how I'm gonna find him. That's not him. That's not him. I don't know what his actual name is, but I know he has uh, fantastic, uh, fantastic videos. Oh yeah, this, this is it. Yeah, this is him. This is him. Late night doomer. Hashtag black pill. Let's let's go through this one. I think this is the one where uh, he got uh, he got stood up by a uh, an escort. What's going on, YouTube? Back with you in the video. This is a DSP enjoyer, everybody. Um, back to another day in hell, another day in paradise. <laughs> another day in hell, another day in paradise. Stop being dense. Um, I just had a little rough day. I just want to vent a little bit. Tell us why. I was supposed to see an escort for a ranger a meeting today. And I think I called... I was supposed to go there at 10.30. I got there like a little min a little minutes after. Okay. No. It was late? I didn't receive anything back. I got to the place. I called her. And then she never picked up. I called like <laughs> maybe four times. But I spread it out though. I didn't call like simultaneously. I spread it out. And she never picked up. And... I'm assuming she's with another client <laughs> or something like that, or she went to sleep, or whatever. She went to sleep. 
It's supposed to be one of one of my good days today. It's supposed to be one of my good days because I got an escort. <laughs> what a story, Mark. Stop being dense. Always getting fucked over, man. Always. By some bullshit. <laughs> this dude is iconic. He's in the Hall of Fame of dance. I think it's because I got there 10 minutes late. Yeah, you got 10 minutes late. She's supposed like she's supposed to come to you, dude. She's not supposed to fucking wait for you. You're the dude who needs to bust a nut. Uh, and then we got the villain podcast 01. Being ugly and unattractive. Hashtag black pill. <laughs> this is just the vent cast. The cop cast. Ugly edition. Uh, and then we got becoming the villain or darker version of yourself. Hashtag black pill. Hashtag doomer. Hashtag TFL. I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, I don't know. Renegade, then we got, I guess, another podcast, because he has, like, a podcasting network or something. Renegade number one, living life like a black pillar. I want to learn something about this. Let's let's see what this means. What's oh, and the, the comments are off, so this is going to be a hot podcast. What's going on, everybody? This is Renegade number one, a.k.a. the feminist killer. Hashtag. Wait, yo. <laughs> living life. I can, see, I can see why the comments are disabled. From the first 10 seconds, he, he lost me at the introduction, dude. Hey, what's up, your boys? It's the feminist killer. There's a black pillar. <laughs> it's woman hater 69 here. What's up, you guys? It's your boy. I'm talk. back with another banger video. Teach you how to hate women and get zero pussy. To you guys about. Now, if you're deciding to take the black pill for the first time, you got to ask yourself... Are you ready to accept everything in your life? Are you willing to accept the fact that you're going to die alone? <laughs> Are you accepting of the fact that the only thing you look forward to is yourself? Are you going to accept the fact that... But what? Wait, wait, wait. You Hold on. This, this already members. makes no sense. May... Why, why are you looking forward to yourself when you hate your life and you're miserable? Why would you look forward to being yourself more? That makes no sense. You're looking forward to more misery? Sure. Lose I guess that's how the black pill tastes. It tastes like misery. All friends. You may lose your girlfriend. You may, you're going to lose everything. If you're ready to risk it all right now, take the black pill. <laughs> He's like the Andrew Tate of miserable dudes. <laughs> oh, this dude is, is based. Live as the black pillar. The black pillar. And I think if you care killer. about being enlightened and you care about chasing the truth, not chasing pleasure. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you all the secrets to success and how good the black pill tastes because we're going to be watching Phil now. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Vietnam. Level one podcast where we've been invaded by our feline friend, Jasper <sighs> this morning. Jasper. How is everyone today? I hope you're doing well. and Welcome to the show. Today is Monday, the 10th of April, 2023, and uh, it's always nice to have a special guest on the show, um, especially for a special day like today, because today indeed is a special streaming day. Is Wings coming on the show? Jasper is not special. For. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Jasper is there almost and, every day, and he adds nothing to, to anything. Yes, he just distracts right. an already distracted dude. Are kind of the same stuff <laughs> over and over. We've actually wrapped up. It's like you got a dude with ADHD play, and you, and you keep like giving him more distractions. Master. Oh yeah, that makes for entertaining content. Games, which is exciting, you know, based off of my birthday marathon where we went through the schedule, looked at what was coming up new, and then had an opportunity to pick out a couple of new games that you guys would be interested in. Today we're playing something I never even thought we would be playing, and you guys came up with this idea Me on Friday. Thanks to anyone who attended. And that's why I'm not Friday watching Marathon it. And helped contribute to figure out what we would be doing If next. you want to watch it, I'm sure um, the, the fellas at the today? detractor beam, weekend. the beamers, are going to be doing uh, it. I had a good weekend for the most part. Uh, I, I, you know, I, was I guess here, they say pre-stream, so night, I don't know. Doing private patron videos, but I might be playing time, some uh, Resident Evil 7 after this, or something else. Who knows? Maybe we're going to make a song or something. My viewers. But today we jump into full-time gaming. And here's the other exciting thing. No more streams off. I know last month, like every week, I was missing pill streams. Like, and then last, you know, last night, I was it's a it's a big pill to swallow, dude. That's what they say. That's what she said. Big ups, LR. Tons of gameplay, tons of fun coming up for the rest of April. 
All right, I'm very excited. Wait, wait, obviously. so Wings Spring tries to fake a concussion and, uh, to get out of the fight. Renewal. Oh, renewal I, I can check games. this out later. That, that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> that sounds like a very Wings thing again. to do. Uh, another couple of weeks, really, before the major ones that, like, for example, Jedi, uh, Star Wars Jedi, what is it called? Jedi Survivor. Jedi Fallen Outcast, Survivor. Brother or something yeah. it's called. I can't remember what it's called. There's a new Star Wars game coming out at the end of this month that I'm very excited for. There's some smaller releases in between. One of the ones that I'm more excited for this month is the Final Fantasy uh, Pixel Remasters because I'd like to play one of those with you as a ch chill nighttime stream. Chill Within night a couple style. of uh, nights here, yeah. we're actually going to wrap up Like a Dragon Ishin and we're going to be looking for more games for the rotation, and I think that a, a, a Pixel Remaster game would be perfect for a late-night chill stream. Um, we're looking at a couple other things as maybes. For example, Dead Island 2, which right now we're basically Dead trying Island to figure 2? out if it's any good. And we're kind of waiting for people to be able to play it. And maybe so he's waiting it. for the shills that he hates kind of a, to give it a rating. On it, I am feeling Speaking like of the shills that we hate, uh, I watched a Young Yeah video anyway, today about Redfall, and uh, IGN published some gameplay of it, and it's probably the so, worst fucking well, gameplay you're going to see in your life. It's worse than Phil. It's worse than Phil. Uh, my day off this week is Wednesday. Uh, we're trying to readjust the schedule again. If you remember, for the, the long, long time, my day off every week from streaming was Wednesday. And then for the last few weeks, it's been Thursday, and that's because of my wife's work schedule jumping all over the place. So we're trying to readjust now and get it back in line, and it looks like this week, Wednesday, will be our day off again. <clears throat> she does. She doesn't work every so day, though. Two more days. That's kind of the the weird the thing with Kaz's schedule. Well, she doesn't work every day. She's like a part time, stuff. sixteen to thirty that. hours Based a week. On what we determined on Friday. All right. So on Friday. So we got multiple days he could, he could take his day off. It was I don't know why it's such a big deal. Segment. And not all of it was based on game schedule stuff. But I was drinking and I was having fun with you guys and we were doing shout outs. But, so it took a while. But we went through the gaming landscape. We looked at all the games coming out in the next several months. And we also looked at my schedule and what openings we had in the schedule. Because I knew that I was going to be beating all the games that I've been playing. Um, and we started talking. People were like, you know, you've been doing a really good job with horror, survival horror. And we like survival horror. And we like the fact that you've been doing some classic ones, you know, Resident Evil 1 remake I did back in January, February, and then I just played Resident Evil 4 remake, right? And people were like, well, why don't you do another survival horror? And I was like, well, uh, you know, uh, if you take a look at what's remaining, the only uh, Resident Evil games that I haven't played multiple times would be Resident Evil uh, Code Zero. Excuse why would you want to play Evil more Zero, Resident, Resident Evil? Evil? Code Veronica X or Resident Evil 6. Why not just do like a challenge so run or a high it. difficulty run? And then people in, were like, you know, like Resident Evil two Resident Evils back eight, to back. For third example. Resident Evil is probably going to be like overload. Way too much Resident Evil in a short period of time. Why wow, don't we can't do that. Do something different. We were talking about clock the trolls tower are going to be mad. Course. There's really no way and they're going to be clock, clock tower making fun of them. Man, I wish they would remake Clock Tower. That would be good. But anyway, as opposed to, to usually never when win, they never make fun of them and they like all his videos. Fan favorite franchise that now is getting buzz. Because soon it seems like it's going to be getting a modern remake for one of its games. And what would be the one that I've never really played besides maybe once, right? We're talking about it and we're like, oh yeah. If you think back to over a decade ago, Silent Hill had a remake collection that came out for PlayStation and Xbox. And essentially it was Silent Hill 2 and 3. Now at the time, it was the only real way to play those games on a modern console... Uh, I guess you could have downloaded the originals on okay. PS3. I guess, are we the into the schedule admin, segment, or is just like a, an intro control, to the schedule keys, segment? Like and then we're going to get the schedule segment. However, even though he already told you basically his schedule, he's playing like Silent Hill and he's kind of off on Wednesday. Visual issues, I think in one of them, Silent Hill 2, the fog is so like messed up that it like takes away the scariness of the game. The whole town's supposed to be like this fog you can't really see. And apparently the fog's like completely transparent and doesn't scare you at all in the game. And it changes the whole mood of the game. It's kind of weird. It's like empty streets. Um anyway I played them. I played Silent Hill 2 okay. and Silent Hill 3 HD when this collection was a new release back in 2012. Um and I enjoyed both games. I really did. Uh but since then there's been a desire to see me go back to Silent Hill a few times. I played Silent Hill 4 the room I played at least one or two other hey, Silent Hill shout out to the room. <laughs> I actually played Silent Hill Downpour when what it was a, a story, brand new game. Mark. I don't know if anyone remembers What a story, Phil. Um, <clears throat> he should play... Um, 
there was a callback. I don't know. Them again, like I played actually Silent don't know. A second time, just several years ago. Nothing. And that was on the harder difficulty. And, and, and that the stream. was a big mistake. And go the and sleep. It is so difficult because there's no ammo anywhere or anything. Um, it just makes the game so hard. And I remember at the end of the game, the only reason I beat it is because I toughed it out and I killed the final boss with a fucking pipe. I beat the shit out of it with a pipe. I had no ammo. It took like an hour, but we got it done. All right. But anyway, um. Is dude anyway, gonna get lean? Um, who is he leaning right now? This is a game. Oh, it's the dude Final above 3. the dude who I gave me a shout out. out. That's once that's a ever, very weird over lean in manual. Ago. I didn't even so get to see what the comment was. <laughs> decade ago versus now. Well, gee, let's see. Uh, um, no direct capture. Well, anyways, no proper microphone setup. No live stream. Okay. No face cam. No interaction. Yeah, with we get audience. it. Now it's gonna be revolutionary. Keep going. It's just like a million things. Were it was bad, and now it's gonna be good because now people will send you tips. Over ten years ago, and I you can pause the game to give them shout outs. I probably said I get it. Playthrough over ten years ago, when I was a very different kind of content creator, right? Okay. So the cool thing about this is now I've been around for so long, right? He's acting yeah. like ten years ago he used to like kidnap puppies and like molest children or something. He's acting like man when I was like a different person that. before I went and to prison. Is, I really don't. Uh, remember my life was really hard. He was like the villain. I, I remember he took the, the black pill. Points. Like I think the plot point is in the first game. <laughs> Dude, I changed. That this cult is trying my to like, sacrifice or something. It's different right? now. In Silent Hill, and in this game, you are the baby, but the baby grew up to be an adult. So you're returning to Silent Hill. Yo, it's you relatable. Know, and you're still trying to like thwart. It's a relatable style game. I think that's what it is. <laughs> but, uh, that's all I remember. I don't remember any gameplay elements. You were the baby, but it grew up, dude. Plot whatsoever, just basic. So this will be interesting for me to go back over 10 years later and make a completely different kind of playthrough, an interactive playthrough with you guys. This should be pretty neat. Okay. Um, I don't even remember how long it is. I really have no clue whatsoever. And again, because I'll be having interactive actions with you guys this time, likely this playthrough would be a longer playthrough, right? And let's be honest. When I was using that camera, it wasn't the best visuals. It wasn't the best. The audio was really bad. Oh, and now I'm it will be. To, to actually present this game in the way that it's intended. Although, again... That 1080 60 is going to hit HD hard. Collection. A lot of people had issue with it. But I think everyone had issue with Silent Hill 2. I don't think Silent Hill 3 many people complained about. It was Silent Hill 2 that had the major problems. Um, oh, I saw a clip of him yesterday when he, like, for 20 seconds straight, he was scratching Xbox behind his ear of the game, and wiping it, it on his on his legs. It was one of the most ridiculous and disgusting things I've ever seen him do. It was incredibly and, uh, disgusting. I'm gonna get and the way he was just casually cool. doing it while right. looking at a camera so, is even more ridiculous. Excellent stuff. And uh, I hope that you guys will join me for this playthrough. This is going to be an epic playthrough, a fun one. Sure. Over the course of the next week or two, because I'll be balancing this with another game that we're going to start tomorrow, which we're going to talk about in a second. <clears throat> so, pretty good, and I uh, hope you guys will join me for the journey. All right, Tyler says hopefully the frame rate will be better. I don't know. You know, it's a good question. I wonder what the frame rate will actually be, um, because again, this is the Xbox version, so you don't know. Essentially, if it's going to run well or not, it's Xbox 360 version, I should say. Some games on Xbox 360 do get upscaled, you know, and others do not. Um, it's it's kind of weird. Banning somebody regard. right now? That I don't see anything ban worthy in this chat. Significantly better, right? And and others don't. Um, on the Xbox Series X. What I are you think, doing, Phil? Nobody's gonna. Oh, Diddy somebody got it banned. Been, right? For no reason. Been, I um, I didn't even see. He's just like banning I don't on think random. That today. it would have been the choice of like the game dev. Do you think the game dev really would have like put in? And he is totally distracted. He doesn't give a fuck um, about anything he's talking about right now. He's doing something else. Really? He's looking at PayPal or something, like, or his emails. Or better? I don't think so. There's something shady going on. Do you think Konami went back when this game got ported to the Xbox and said, "Oh." You know, this is going to be better on Xbox. Let's put effort into it. I think it was it was uh, Microsoft doing it, right? Billy J says, It does run well on the 360. Its frame rate was stuttering a lot, but on the Series X, it seems completely fine. Oh, yeah? Okay, then. Cool. I, you know, I'm down for that. And, uh, you know, that's the cool thing, about again, about having a Series X and being able to play the older versions of the game on the new console two console generations later. A lot of these games have run better. Look at Oblivion, right? Look at how smooth Oblivion has run for us. So this should be fun. 
And uh, I hope that you guys will join me for the journey over the next couple of weeks. All right. So that's today's main gameplay stream, the premiere. Oh, so this was just HD. the one stream for today. Right this was the really schedule segment for win. one single so stream. And it's the one you're watching right. right now. Now, of course, there's going to be questions. What difficulty are you playing on? What endings are you And of course, he's mocking the people that like him. To me, I haven't played this game in 11 years. I want to just enjoy it at face value. All right. Likely, I'm just going to go whatever the defaults are. All right. When I played Silent Hill 2 HD, I really regretted it. Because if you remember, that was torturous at the end of the game. It wasn't fun at all. It was like pulling teeth to try to finish the game. It was a nightmare. It wasn't fun to play or watch. It was just me being very frustrated. So I think we're going to go by default. And uh, as for endings, you know, I don't know what the endings are of the game. That would be up to you guys if, if you wanted me to have multiple save states and then go back and do criteria to get multiple endings, but I don't know how to get them. You know, I've why only played would, the game why once. Why are we going to do that? Okay. Huh? So I guess we'll see as we play along. By the way, that noise is Jasper needing some stuff in my closet. So there you go. Um, hey, let him out of the closet. Cool. Let now, him be himself. Late stream, 6.45 p.m. Pacific he time. the Black Pill. Oh, Oblivion. Continuing on. Huh? Only one stream of Oblivion this week. It kind of just happened. Uh, that he way leaves his house one day earlier. a week. And this is a shorter stream you of week. You because we're trying to readjust Look, you got debunked. But Oblivion should be chill. And also, we wearing uh, your wedding ring is something that adults and, uh, do, mature adults, and people that track. operate households and are married and have families. And he is exactly that type of guy, so obviously he's going to wear it. And just excited to see where the game takes us. As you know, Oblivion is some of the more chill, interactive streams that I do. And Jasper is back. And I can't wait for more chill fun tonight. Jasper is sniffing my head. Yeah, we be seeing. Then tomorrow. Thanks for the super blind man commentary. New for you. Something that people have wanted for a bit, and I'm excited. All right, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow, April 11th. It's no April Fool's joke. It would be. It would be 10 days late if it were. Um, we're going back to the world. And this is why I don't like Jasper. This was tedious back. enough. Of Elden Ring. Oh, he's playing it. Wow. Elden Ringer. I didn't know. Your time has come. Everyone, if you're an Elden Ringer, all right, I want you to put your hands above your head like this and form the ring once again. Stop being It's time dense. for us to return to the world of Elden Ring for the first time in a year. Everyone, do it. Elden Ring. Ready? Are you doing the Elden Ringer? Jasper's looking at me. He's like, what the hell are you doing? Do the <laughs> Elden Ring with me. You ready? Are you doing it? Well, I can't see it. I'm on the internet. I can't see you doing it. Why are you doing it? But anyway, Elden Ring. I'm sure Jade was doing it. To Elden Ring I don't think tomorrow. Jade is here right. yet. So what hasn't got up yet? Tomorrow. No I mean, it's fun really intended. Up to you guys, because here's the weird thing about this. Okay, when I beat Elden Ring, which was what May or June of last year, it was the longest playthrough. I started in February of 2022. And it was like 140 parts. I mean, I did an ultra completion. Yeah, right it's literally game. the same right. joke every time. Yeah. It's either like show of hands or so, do this or so, uh, make I this face it, I inadvertently or show me I this number or something. It's like weird game. stuff. And it's always the same thing. And always the, the, started over the punchline is always the same. And everyone said, oh, Phil blew it. He did New Game Plus, and I was game save his best. What are you doing? You are not getting my bottle cap. He's trying to get my bottle cap. You're not getting it. Um, everyone said now he did it. He screwed it up because now he's stuck in a new game plus run, and uh, you know, so he's I guess he started new game plus when he plays it again. Now everyone kind of knew that there was going to be a DLC for Elden Ring eventually. We all knew that. I mean, the game made so much. So money. he's not no doing a new more, game plus. Right? He's doing oh, an actual a giant new run. Potential pile of money that I could collect. Makes no I think sense. I'll walk by that and come over here and do something new. Yeah, right. They're going to collect their money, right? So. Maybe somebody. Recently, they're working. My on, theory right? is that somebody told him that it's called, harder, like, and that he's like that. gonna have to it's have a different build than Jump R2, so he decided to do that. I seriously have no clue what the DLC is called. I forgot. Anyway, so as this was announced, okay, some people started to spark the fire of the idea that I should go back and play Elden Ring again, because now I need to get to the point where I'm gonna be able to do the DLC. The problem is, since I did New Game Plus, it deleted all my progress in the original game, so now I have to start over. Okay? I have to do a new run. Now, the debate is, what do you want to see me do? Because we have two options. Okay? Option number one is a true New Game Plus run. And for those who don't know, when you do New Game Plus, you essentially start the game over. It's oh. a harder difficulty setting, but you have your levels, 
You have your so your your souls. What are they called? This grace? Is it grace? I don't even know what the hell it's called in this game. I played the whole game, 140 parts. I don't even know what anything's oh, called. Whatever. Um, the rooms. So essentially, you're doing it over, but you're starting from a big advantage. The good news about that is, once you get to that certain point, the academy or whatever, you can respec. And the reason people primarily play New Game Plus is because they kind of want to do a whole new build from what they did their first run, but they don't want to go through all the hassle of having to go through all the game again and kind of, you know, have all the same difficulty grind as you had in the first run. So by doing New Game Plus, you can kind of turbo through and only hit the, the big major points of the game, the big major boss fights and things required to advance in the game. Yeah, you don't so, actually... What I was thinking, if we do New Game Plus... I don't know. Within maybe two, three streams, tops, we'll get to the Academy... We'll be able to respec, and we will be fully into whatever this new build is going to be, and it's going to be kicking ass. Because I'm going to have all these spells and things that I already have unlocked, these sorceries or whatever, from the first playthrough. So I'm going to be able to mess around, dabble in them, and figure out what it is that I want. I'm actually thinking, my, my thing would be, I think I want to do the sorceries, like the Academy ma Magic, the Blue Magic, the Alien Magic. We know it's Alien Magic now, but you didn't know that in the original run until you got further into the game. You realized it's aliens, right? That's what Come on, dude. Spoilers. Is. I think that's what I want to do. <laughs> Some people I like, love oh, him in spoilers when it's but like, then, if he has experienced some something, he can just right? tell you all about so it. My, my ending and stuff. And I'm joking in this chaos case. Stuff. The game is old enough, obviously. I want to like, go for the religious yeah. shit. I want to go for like cool crystal spoilers magic don't and matter. alien blue shit. Flying everywhere, blowing everything up and shit. That sounds fun to me. So, I, that's what I want to go for. Um, and that would be completely different from my original build. Like, nothing like what I did in my original run. Like, not at all. Okay? Um, so, ow. Oh, my neck. Ooh. So, that's what I was thinking to do. <laughs> this dude is All a right. fucking alien, um, man. I know for a fact. I got Send him back. Some of he doesn't fit in. He's not already. convincing enough. So, essentially, like I said, two, three streams, uh, just getting used to the controls again. Send us somebody Probably better right who's castle, better at video games, at least. On, uh, what's his name? The fucking... The guy that's not really the guy. He's the sorcerer. He's controlling someone else's body. He's astral projection or some dumb shit. The guy? And you're fighting the grafted dick face. And after you beat the grafted dick face, you go to the big swamp... And you fight the stupid crabs and a dra fucking dragon. Oh, it seems like, like he loves the game, dude. Like he loves the game. Everything is stupid. Everybody is an idiot. Because they're all little pussies. And you get to the the queen or whatever, Queen Regaladala. And you slap her around too. She tries to throw a moon at you. You're like, nah, fuck that. You punch her right in the face. And then you get to respect. So I was thinking within two, three streams, we could probably get to that point in the game and respect. Like, wow, that would be pretty good. And then we could actually have like a powerful ass sorcery build. Now... If we do the New Game Plus run, it's not going to be an insanely lengthy run. I would guess, due to the length of the game, it probably still would be about 40 hours long. And the thing is, I actually would like to to still re-explore some of the fun optional stuff in the game. Like, I don't want to just turbo through the necessary dungeons and beat the game right away. That's not my goal here. My goal is to do a fun, entertaining run of the game. I want to take on some of the bosses and things that I did originally, the, some of the optional bosses, the super bosses, etc., with magic. I want to see how different is this game using a magic build, right? Okay, then do that if that's what you want. So it's your stream, my guy. Very curious about it. But it also okay. depends on support, um, right? Make sure you show thinking. up, okay? And so, maybe instead of being a 140-hour run, the run would be 40, 50 hours, but we take our time with certain areas. I certainly wouldn't be doing those grindy, re repetitive, nonsense side dungeons. We'd only be doing the major areas that are unique and stuff like that. Uh, I think it would work out nicely. I think it would be really fun. Yeah, those okay. side dungeons um, are more like people that are trash one, like me. One so you can go and grind you stuff tomorrow. out and get right, better at the game. number one for Elden Ring. Uh, of course, he's an elite two. player. He's option a former pro fighting game player, so obviously game he can just fight the main I bosses. I literally start from scratch. Okay? From scratch. As if I've never played the game before and we start over. Remember now, when uh, that, when he fought... Right? Um, we are committing fuck, to I an forgot his name. Uh, Radon. You know he fought Radon, and right? then he cried and about how he was too easy. Radon was too easy for him because they nerfed him in the latest souls, patch. Levels, whatever the frick you want to call it. That's how good items. Phil is. He's like I'm incredible. He transcends gaming. That means no matter what build I use, it's going to be weak at the beginning of the game. It's going to be a while until I get majorly into it. I think even his whole pre-stream was called This is Radon? Powerful. Or something you know like saying? that. One so of those smug, like, condescending a shit. of a situation. Now, here's the deal. This is an interactive playthrough. My first Elden Ring run a year ago was my honest first time ever run. That is and bullshit. Because of that, that I is factually. Guys, uh, I have spoiler. to pause this. Okay.
Uh, there was a screenshot that leaked from his Discord, and he had a server, not a, he had a server, yes, and within it he had a channel that was called, I think it was something along the lines of Elden Ring Library, or something like that. When people were sending him actual guides and actual advice how to play the game. So he is literally just lying right now. He's just lying. People helped him a lot through that playthrough. A lot. There's nothing I want to explore for myself. And man, did we what find crazy story, shit, Mark. right? Together, we had a lot of fun with my Elden Ring run. A lot of fun. Well, also, yeah, he claimed he didn't have a Discord. And then he was like, hey, Phil, you have a Discord. There's screenshots from it. Of course I have a Discord. I need to talk to my buds. This time around. Been there, done that. Seen everything the game has to offer. So now there's I'm now gonna I'm going gonna to fast forward to the present. New run of the game. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be like, all right, we're in the early areas. If I want to do a magic build, what exactly should I be hitting up? Do I really want to do this area? Do I need to fight the optional dragon in the bog? Does it really matter? Do I really need that? Dragon's items and, and, and souls are trying to skip it. What, where are the key items that I need for my build? Tell me where to go. Guide me because I've already played it before. I wasn't fucking doing a giant checklist for each build when I played it the first time. Um... <clears throat> So help me out. Let me know exactly what to do, and let's do this together. Let's turn the second round of Elder Ring into an interactive mode. We're gonna have a chill time together while I'm doing a whole new build. That's my attitude for the second round of Elder Ring. Okay. With that being said, I think it's gonna feel a very, very, very different uh, playthrough. Be very different. He's sure. gonna ban okay. somebody now. now. That's in the past, so I don't even know. Game game hey, Jade is, this is here. You know, I was yeah. Like, I was yeah. Like, Forty-five hours. I was A straight-up new game run would be a about this. Okay. This is very important to think about. It's very important. Let's think about it. The next few months, there's a lot of new games coming out. Not necessarily in April. But once we start hitting, uh, the there aren't, dude. June, there's like five there's games he wants to play until like right. July. Let me give you that list. You ready? I like how everybody gets excited when Jade comes around. <laughs> oh, that's great. Jade is super positive. He's like wholesome, wholesome dent. Stop being dense. Just listen to all these games. Oh, now we're gonna read the the actual great the next list. Next couple of months. Like I said, April is light, and I would say out of the games coming out in April, probably Final Fantasy Pixel Remasters is going to be a chill playthrough I'm going to do. Dead Island 2 is a maybe, right? Star Wars Jedi Survivor is a yes, but that's at the 28th. But now let's get into May. Redfall, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, Amnesia the Bunker, all right? Oh, he's going to talk Gollum, about the Redfall the gameplay made, thing. The There's no way he's not going to talk about it. It's somebody who was worse at video in games June, than he was. Street Fighter VI is going he's to be definitely going to seize the moment. It is going to be the biggest fighting game. It might be the biggest fighting game of all time. All right? And I'm going to be covering it. Because, like, They're that, that gameplay was ass. Um, yeah, the game doesn't look all that good for all the hype it gets. It, so it looks pretty bad, back actually. Back, right? But the gameplay itself, oh, my God, was terrible. All right? So just... To give you that perspective, right? In both the, the frame of June, reference, my guy. a ton of big high profile new releases that are gonna be hot and people are gonna wanna see me cover fully. If we're playing Elden Ring new game straight, not new game plus, but new game straight, and you're asking me to commit to a playthrough that's like 60 to 80 hours long, Buy in? Be, you know that's how long Buy the game in? is. Essentially, you gotta be ready for this game to be on hold you got oh, no. like this month I think we're gonna April cryogenically be freeze it. I think in April it will be a lot of Elden Ring and we'll be alternating with Silent Hill. Maybe after Silent Hill's done, we'll <laughs> come do on, come on, you wanna game. say it. <clears throat> say it. Say it. And then like we will balance in. it. Maybe Dead Island 2, Buy but I'm not in. sure yet. Definitely Jedi Survivor at the end of the month, right? Um but that's essentially what the month's gonna be. Okay? But then once May and June hits, Elden Ring is not gonna be my priority. Understand that. It's not. It'll be the game that I'm balancing with other shit. I've already played this game last year. I'm not gonna be playing it like it's a major new release. You understand? Okay. Put it on the late streams. Come on, that's and a that's a great major concern, good idea. Is that if I start Elden Ring? Okay. How is um, everything so complicated, man? Plus. This shit is so fucking yeah, simple for everybody month, else. Phil month, is the only one who makes it so complicated. It, like for it. everybody it's else. Hey, you guys, I'm gonna play this game play today. Come hang games, out with me. Interactive streams, and we're having a good time. And then May hits. And with this dude, and like, it's well, like, we need to have, much, like, flow charts and graphs and hand graphs if it, the views really are up or they're down, and the, right. the engagement and, then, and the you know, recent releases in, and, and the future sudden, releases like, and all the releases I'll, I'll ever and the happen. reviews and everything. And then after a couple weeks of this, people get more tired of it. And with the original Elden Ring, it lasted about a month. And after about that initial month of me playing it, and now we're doing like actual like future projections. Major okay, now like this is what I think will happen. I'm gonna, well, gonna start playing it. Then I'm gonna stop playing it. Then I'm gonna start playing it again. Then I'm gonna get views. Then I'm not gonna get views. Am I gonna get support? Well, I don't know. Hopefully, I'm gonna get support. A lot. 
And that is my real concern with doing a new game versus a new game plus run. If I'm doing new game plus, it's, you're essentially saying you've already got all your stuff from the first run. This is meant to be a turbo mode. You are powerful. You're just experimenting with the engine to try a new mode. And you're getting yourself to the area wherever the DLC is going to be. So that way you're, you're basically killing two birds with one stone. My thought. Okay. <laughs> Super chatty got Gloria P My says Gloria P. Jade and I would like if to buy do, in for New Game uh, Plus. That way you don't have to go run. collect I all the stuff again. <laughs> that you guys are going to be Stop there for the long run. Now I'm not asking for new release numbers. I'm not asking for new release for numbers. This is essentially going there we to go. Be we got we got to the buy in game. part. All we right. got to the buy in part. He's literally said, begging right now. I and like he gave us a shout out. That being uh, you know, said, I like, I like Elden Ring. I like the idea that you're going back to it per our requests for you know the last year, and I like the fact that you're doing new game, not new game plus, because we asked for it. And please, if you could, please, you know, we'll we'll show up and we'll engage. Please we'll show up as long as and you're playing it. Engage in support. Will, Notice we'll how the support is the stream. last thing. If I'm playing Elden Ring, because by support he I means money. People are not paying attention. And he doesn't want to be a beggar, but he wants to beg. The, the, this the, is Phil. This is who Phil is. Then it's going to be a fail. You understand? It is. It's going to be a fail. And that's why I am nervous about this new new game plus. At least he's nervous run. now. So that starts to happen, <laughs> right, let's just commit. Let's try to finish it. As opposed Bro. to new game, you know, we're talking this could take months to get through, and it's going to be balanced with other stuff, and it's not going to be the priority. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm concerned about, and it's tough. It's tough to make these kind of decisions as a full time streamer. It's a tough a decision for I'm his about business. To make a huge commitment. <laughs> Huge commitment. My, my he's buying a company, you guys. Streams, he's buying WWE. He's a I part of Endeavor. Tomorrow. It's going to be a humongous commitment. He wants to know if it's a good buy. I'm not sure what to do. Um, I don't know, man. After that WrestleMania like night too, I don't know if you no should buy it. Consensus. Just right now in the chat, we've got people <laughs> who are disagreeing. Of course well, they are. They always plus, will. Just, saying just new game that no one can decide. You got to take and executive decision. Like There's nobody who knows do, as much about your business you as you. You know what I'm saying? So nobody can give you're, you that much guidance not, as right? you want. So just Apex do what you feel is best. And if it fails, that's your responsibility. Right? You got to deal with the consequences, if my boy. Struggle, and if it is a if it's a success, you get all the glory. That's the opposite of what I was told. I thought it was going to be used the other way around. Oh, if you do a new game, you'll absolutely regret it. It will take forever, says Anso Kamaru. New Game Plus is more fun. It's like the Revenge Tour, says Turtle Dude. Here you go. Ha Haldol says, well, New Game Plus means you'll be overleveled and overpowered for when the DLC comes out. Yeah, but he wants to also have a different build. See? <laughs> this dude is so fucking silly. Oh, and then Billy J says, it's your now, stream. Billy hit it on the head. He absolutely hit it on the head. Oh, yeah. He says, it's your stream. Choose what you think is best for you. People are just going to complain no matter what you do. So yeah, just do dumbass. <laughs> I mean, that's a given. That is an absolute positive given. That no matter what Dark Side Phil does on the internet, Oh, well, now it it's going to be about people. Are it gonna... doesn't matter if I what? listen directly to what my viewers said or not. No matter what I do, it was the wrong choice. It was the wrong How thing How is he a victim do. again? A horrible person and a horrible Bruh. content creator. And no, we're right just now, deflecting onto what the trolls up, are saying. Satan came out and grabbed me and shoved a red hot poker up my That's ass. That's not what the dude meant in the comments. Hell for all of eternity. Only good things could come from it, right? God. You're a gameplay streamer, dude. Like, get oh, a fucking grip. It's a little grip. over dramatic. A little over dramatic. But you get the point I'm making. I don't. It never seems that, uh... It never seems to me like, like no matter what I do, I, I, there's no consensus. Right? It's like, damned if you do, damned if you don't, you're damned. Damn. House of the damned. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I guess that's it. The bottom line is, damn, let's read some more chat. I have no clue. I don't know what the DLC is. Stop being dense. It has a name. That's it. That's it. We don't know what it is. It doesn't matter what it is. It's going to be story content. It's going to be harder than the regular game, and you're going to play it. That's all you got to know. want to do and go straight to it. I'm not looking shit up. I need your help. This is the point I'm making, Ellipsian. I need the buy-in of the audience. And there we go. We got. We do do he explicitly plus, said it. I need All your buy-in. Is go through the game and hit the necessary points to beat it and make a new build. If we're doing new game starting over, I do need the buy-in from the audience that you guys are going to help me. I'm not looking up shit. I'm not going to sit here with a fucking guide. 
That's boring as dirt. Oh, not not you only does he need your financial buy-in, the the views and interaction, he needs you to hold his hand, turkey, tell him everything, to tell him what to do. <laughs> the second run is meant to be the interactive run, you understand? No. That's the point I'm making I'll, here. That's I'll the I'm entire drinking. reason we have this segment of the show today. Is to say this the is the shittiest fucking I streamer, dude. If I don't get the buy-in from people that they're gonna help me with the second run, then fuck it. I'm doing new game plus no matter what. So it's either <laughs> new game plus or the buy-in run. You get it? The bu the buy-in run. He called it the buy-in run. <laughs> There's no way, man. This dude is such a fucking meme. He's such a living uh, meme. Excuse me. It's disgusting. Oh wait, what? What? It's absolutely disgusting. I'm sorry about that. Just stop doing okay. it, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> the buy-in run. Oh. <laughs> what a story, Mark. What a I was story, a poll. Phil. I mean, I could do a poll, but we have 400 people on the stream. So? I don't think that that's going to be representative of the entire audience. But we could so do Why? A, why is it for everything else? We could do a live poll. We could do one. Why was it on the birthday marathon? Participate in this poll. I'm curious what your thoughts are. Maybe leave some comments on this video. It makes no sense. You would want to see. Let's do a live poll, okay? It's gonna so, be the buy-in poll. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna vote on it. Which run of Elden Ring should DSP do? Okay, I'm gonna mirror that poll, and I'm gonna new go with your guys' choice plus as my choice. New game. Which run of Elden Ring should assist. DSP do? There you go. New game plus, or there you go. new game with all Oh, not that it matters. This is not going to determine what assist. I do. But I guess this is a okay. good way to pull the audience and see what they think. Okay? All right. Okay, make sure you get your votes in. Fast and furious. Even though right? I did close the poll, so I probably can't. <laughs> I can't get it so let's now. Let's see what people have to say. Let's leave it at that for now. Yeah, not let's that it matters. It just just let's click on something. All right. This dude is wild. We're not we'll even like 30 minutes we'll in. We'll talk about other topics. He was such a fucking we'll crackhead. Later on in the show. We're actually 40 so minutes in. Think. This was right, 40 I'm minutes curious. of fucking DSP. Is, is the schedule right. of one day. And then talking about Elden Ring for like half an hour. He's wild, man. It's hilarious. Some people are saying everyone does a new game plus, so I don't know why you wouldn't just do that. And other people are like, no, new game plus. No, is everyone too sucks, powerful. dude. It's remember? Like cheat codes. It's like, no one can decide shit. No one knows anything. You don't know what you want, so what? I don't know what to do. So what I'll do is I'll tomorrow I'll just boot the console up and I'll I'll pick a random game. Maybe oh, and now we playing, we pick a um, random so he can have as uh, as as less responsibility as possible. Anyway, so as, as little responsibility as possible. It's gonna be a random for. pick. Curious, so in the end, he can say, "Well, it was tomorrow, random, no you guys." What, tomorrow we're playing Elden Ring. What a so fucking Elden idiot! Ring, for the first time in about we, a we year, can't even have the responsibility of picking tomorrow. what kind of what? playthrough he's gonna play. He's forty-one years old, no freshly. We won't know. I can't believe this. I make a decision. I don't know what I'm making a decision yet. You can't make a decision. There you go. About the playthrough he's playing, he should have told the the side scrollers this. Cool. And so, sometimes I can't even make a decision tomorrow, of what kind of playthrough I'm going to do. My job is very Wednesday hard, you guys. I work like 16 game. hours we a day. Near the end of the game. We're in chapter 12 or 14. Even when I'm not working, I'm working. 12, 13, 14, when I'm not working, I'm lurking. Story chapters. And when I'm not so lurking, I'm drinking. We'll get a couple hours in. I'm drinking. One more stream of Like a Dragon Ishin. We'll probably beat it. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking for I did nothing uh, wrong. a and new late night chill stream. He never did anything wrong. When you You can't even say a single time when he has done... And I'm something wrong. One of those he's always done everything correct, except yeah, things in the past, but they don't matter now because he's a different person. A of streams, and I'm wondering Debunk. what we could do for that. I don't know. Maybe we should jump on Game Pass time. and see what's on there, and play a game a couple times on Game Pass just to kill some time. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll figure it out. Okay, we will. When that when we cross when we get to that that point, we'll we'll figure that out. We'll we'll uh, tackle it as it as it approaches. Um. But Oblivion seems like it's going to be continuing on for several more months. <laughs> it really does. It seems like we still got guild quest lines, the main quest line, and then there's DLCs that you guys are telling me you want. So it seems like Oblivion is going to keep rolling on, okay? Which Final Fantasy will I play first in my ruin? Well, I'm going to say I don't want to play 4 or 6. We already played those multiple times. It's either going to be 1, 2, 3, or 5. The question is... Which do you guys want to see first? I've played five. Oh, and now another and I really like the game. It actually has a really good soundtrack and some great gameplay elements, but I don't like the story. I think the story is kind of cliche in the game. Uh, one, two, and three, 
I've played one and two before, but only once. I don't really remember them that well. I never finished three because I thought it was boring as dirt. But I was playing the 3D remake on the 3D or the on the DS. So maybe I would like this one better because this is more of the original game. I don't know. It'll be up to you guys. I really don't mind. I would play any of them. Um, keep in mind they're not continuous. It's not like it's a continuous plot line going on. They're not. They're all separate stories. So you could really play them in any order. It I really, really hate like. And this is the pixel remaster. As much as he talks about the uh, about uh, damned if you do, damned if you don't, he's put his audience in this situation. Because if you're a part of the audience, you vote for a game, he plays it, he expects money for it, and if you don't come through, you get shit on. And more oblivion, and then Friday. And if you don't vote for it, he's gonna play something else. You get shit on every way. Either way, if you don't fucking give money. And this is the same dude talking about damned if you do, damned if you don't. React show DSP versus the internet. Those threads are already live over on DSP React. So please head over there and please post up your videos. Your standard members are competing first come first serve. Ultra members are guaranteed to get their videos watched no matter what. So head over, check it out. All right, and uh. And let's let me know. Let me know what you think. Okay. Okay. Let's uh let's get that show going. Let's get those videos. Apparently, uh, hand exerciser. If you're wondering what it is, hand exerciser. Hand but, uh, exerciser. Hand it's exercise. literally just a stress ball, dumbass. You don't need a hand mm -hmm. exerciser. What are you like, 65 years old? Hand exerciser. Okay. So very good, right? Um, and that's that's gonna be the week. You know, heading into the weekend and stuff like that. And of course. As of this weekend into next week, that's when some of these new releases are going to start to come out. So once these start to come out, then we can tackle them and see what do you want to play and stuff like that. Okay? All right. Um, One other thing. Last night, I saw Top Gun Maverick. Oh, yeah. The entirety of the movie in one sitting. I actually didn't think I would. And I started watching it, and I got hooked. I couldn't stop watching. It must be something to do with that stud Tom Cruise. Like, I just started seeing him. Uh, you know, on the screen, I was like, dude, I can't stop watching this guy. He's just such a manly fucking Adonis. I couldn't, I had to keep watching. So I saw the whole movie. Okay. And I will be reviewing that movie either tonight or tomorrow I night. mean, Tom Cruise is low-key based movie. because um, like um, he's literally well, like one of the top tonight. Scientologists. Okay. So. And uh, he is still popping. So anyway. And he's like 50-something um, yes. years old or something. I'll be, I'll reviewing and he does his own stunts. Probably So yeah, he, he is a low-key, like a, a we'll boss. He's tomorrow. low key a baller. So for those who are interested, I mean, you know, Top Gun Maverick was one of the biggest movies of last year. A lot of people were talking about it constantly. Some people went and saw it multiple times to theaters and stuff. I didn't, but now I'm seeing I saw it, and I'm down to talk about it. I hope you will join me uh, when I do that, either tonight or tomorrow, okay, over on DSP Reacts. So now... I know what my next review is going to be already. I figured it out. Are you ready for this? <clears throat> In an unprecedented move, for the first time ever, a DC Comics movie within one month of theatrical release has already gone digital. Oh, yeah, because yeah. it was a massive that flop. That movie is called Shazam. Shazam Fury of the Gods. Yeah. The movie absolutely it was a bigger flop than in theaters. Yeah. And because it tanked, they said, oh, shit, we got to get this to digital distribution right away. It was away. a bigger flop so than um, HBO Max, I believe. Uh, so Black Adam. Is, and that one had that, The Rock sure in it, it and it was bad. Apparently, like, Shazam was worse, um, I guess. I want to watch that next. I haven't as seen as it yet. On there. I actually haven't seen it yet. Let's see. They said it was going digital right away. Yeah, it's already on... Um, Specific Russian sites where you can see it for free. Oh, oh no, it's not. Seriously? How is it it's not? not? It's not on here yet. The first one is though. Yeah, I might. Okay, yeah. no, I don't know. I thought it was on there yet, and it's not. I thought they said that it was on there. It's not. Son of a bitch. Because I was like, oh, that'd be good. I never saw the first one. So I was thinking, much like with the Sonic movie, I was gonna watch the second one first. <laughs> but I guess it's not on there, and I'm definitely not paying to rent it or whatever. Um. <clears throat> So anyway, uh, I guess we'll, ah, my list got stuck to my hand exerciser here. Uh, I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. I, I, I got to think of the next movie. The next movie His I'm going to watch got is, stuck uh, on the is gonna hand be over exerciser. The next um, probably <laughs> mid to late this week I'll watch and I'll review it on DSP Reacts. So I'll see what happens. I thought this was going to be on there, but maybe it's not. Sure. Oh, is that true? Someone just said April 16th. Is that true? 
It's going to be added to HBO Max on April 16th. They're waiting like a week. Yeah, he has oh, a okay. stress ball that he's calling a hand exerciser because everything that he owns one? has to have it, extra no prestige to added Shazam onto it. It can't just, just be a simple stress Shazam ball. It's a hand exerciser. Everyone said it sucked. Obviously, it's more interesting to find out. Is that what it said on, on Amazon, first, probably? If I review the first one, no one wants to see a second review back to back of two Shazam movie. So that's what I was thinking. <clears throat> I agree, Swaggo Nito. He says, you need a new show to follow. If you haven't noticed, there haven't been any really new shows recently. So that's why I've been doing movies, movies, movies. There hasn't been any really new shows to talk about. I'm kind of waiting and seeing when will the next big hot show be out. And when it comes out, maybe I'll get whatever service it's on. I'll watch it with you guys weekly, and then I can review it like that, you see? Box says, watch the Suicide Squad James Gunn movie so I can watch the Peacemaker series. Yeah, right, I'll think about it. It's a good idea. I'll think about it. Because Top Gun was, by the way, Top Gun Maverick, if I couldn't stop watching it, I think that says something, right? Um. <clears throat> well, he didn't fall asleep, so, so yeah. Because the Alchemist well, official for the sub, I'll, uh, I'll think about it this week. Maybe I will watch that this week, then, since we have to wait on Shazam. Because I was, I was really interested in Shazam Fury of the Gods, but now it's not on there yet. So, All right, hold on. I'm going to go put my list back. <laughs> you can't put it next to you on the desk you have. We gotta get up during the podcast and leave the room somewhere to put it at a very specific place because he's super tidy. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Oh. <clears throat> cool. So that's what's going on with the schedule, everyone. Um, a couple other quick things. As you can see, and big. we have a daily goal for members today. Being that we are doing Silent Hill 3 HD today. First time I'm playing Silent Hill in years. And, uh, you know, a nice chill stream tonight and a full day of streaming. I put a humble six-member goal there for the day. I'm hoping that we can get six new members by the end of today. If you join, thank you so much. If you give some memberships to the channel, likely we're going to have more people on today's stream than we usually do because it is Silent Hill and people like horror. Um, today will be a good day to give to the community if you were thinking of supporting this channel, okay? So thanks for that. And, of course, think of all the great benefits you get being a member. Emotes, chat crown badge, avoiding slow mode on streams, highlighted, you know, name and messages in uh, both comments and the live streams. You get priority for my Q and A show, Ask the King, every two months, <laughs> uh, amongst many other things. What a you know, story, Mark. said, "Are you going to bring back a viewer's choice playthrough at some point?" And I was like, "Yeah, I think what I'll do is in the summer when things are slowing down, because it looks like May and June things are going to pick up for new releases. But probably July it'll slow down. So maybe in June we do viewer's choice. People will nominate, vote on games." And we'll pick a new uh, summertime viewer's choice playthrough. And it would be members of the channel who have priority for stuff like that, you see? So anyway, oh, please uh, consider becoming a member. Away from the a lot of benefits. Anniversary. Out the ah, yes, yes. We're right. almost uh, at the bust Thank day. Um, bust day is spectacular. Geez, outside He's going to celebrate it somehow, I guess. Up? There's like one new store I want to talk about. Then I have a segment today, talking about jerking uh, off. I think we covered all the bases of everything going on right now, really. Um... Because it's a Monday, so he's going to be here. Story? I forgot it. I totally forgot the news story I was going to talk about. Um, Let's see. Good check mark. Oh, this is kind of exciting, actually. IGN. Uh, so, how many of you have seen those 3D, and when I mean 3D animation, Resident Evil movies? I've seen a few of them. There was one there was an outbreak in an airport. And they were fighting these zombies in an airport. And that was a really weird one. <laughs> I was like, an airport? Huh? Of all the places to be fighting, like, these enemies, these monsters or whatever. Um, I saw two, at least two of them. I can't remember the other one that I saw. Um, But anyway, there is a new one coming out. And it's the first time they've done one of these in many, many years. Um, It's called Biohazard Death Island. Now listen to this. It is starring... Jill Valentine, Leon Kennedy, Chris Redfield, Claire Redfield, and Rebecca Chambers, all in the same movie. Yes, it's the first time ever that this cast has ever been united for a Resident Evil project. Usually they're crossovers in games or whatever, <clears throat> and they've been shuffled around, but never before have you actually seen the cast of original Resident Evil characters all in one outing, and that's exactly what this movie is supposed to be. Um, it's coming out on July 7th, 2023, and it's, obviously it's probably going to be digital. I don't think these movies usually are all digital release. I don't think they've ever had a theatrical release for them. 
Uh, people are yeah, they had the great like, ones the by uh, Paul W. S. Right Anderson. Those ones had a an actual Jill has her Resident Evil release. remake look, meaning she kind of looks like Mila Jovovich. For some reason, she looks like Mila Jovovich in that game. I don't know why they did that. Okay, but Leon, Chris, Claire, and Rebecca all look like they're from the games, the other games, the regular ones, and it's like so they redesigned one of them. But the rest of them look like the classic models. It's really confusing. It's like, why did they do that? They just did Resident Evil 4 Remake. Why doesn't Leon look like the model in that? Right? I don't and know. Chris, I mean, Chris looks so different in, like, Village and stuff. Why doesn't he look like that? He does it. Like, they, <laughs> it's so odd. I don't know, man. Okay? It's some weird spinoff thing, so probably. Anyway, Resident Evil fans are going crazy. They're like, oh, this is the, the coolest thing. We've never seen these characters cross over like this before. And to finally... uh. You know, see them all together in one event. You should call exciting. them all idiots. Well, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Yeah, there we go. Um, I've seen these CGI movies before. They're okay. Like, they're good action romps, but I don't think they're meant to be canon in the Resident Evil universe. If you haven't noticed, they're <laughs> never referenced in the games. Like, never. So I think they're supposed okay. to be similar to, say, you ever see the Dragon Ball Z animated movies? They're nice ideas, but they're more like what-if scenarios and they're doing things that are supposed to be like supplemental content to the universe, but they're not necessarily canon with the story of the show. And I kind of feel like that's what these movies are too. They're fun. They're exciting, right? They're nice in that regard, but they're not meant to be canon experiences, okay? <clears throat> so, I don't, I don't think that they're continuous or contiguous, whatever the word is. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but... They never saw, like, when I was watching them, I was like, this doesn't seem like this is in line with what happens in the games, you know? There was a whole, I remember in one of them, there's a terrorist organization that got a okay. hold of the virus. Sure. That's, I think that was the airport one, where a terrorist organization got a hold of the virus and let it loose at the airport or something. And it's like, what? Like, that never happened. All right, next story. Anyway, um... I think it's exciting. We haven't seen a, a, a movie like this in ages. Like, I can't remember the last time they did a CGI Resident Evil movie. So that's kind of cool. I think what really is Resident Evil has been popular now for a while now. Seven, eight, and now these remakes. So now they're like, ah, strike when the fire is hot. You know, I think these movies were originally coming out around the time of Resident Evil 5 and 6, and that's when, that, when it was on a downward trend. So now they figure, oh, it's on an up and up again, so let's start throwing move, more movies out, right? So that's cool. <clears throat> um... People, I'm serious. People are arguing in the chat about this. They're like, no, they're all canon. No, they're not. Some of them are canon. They're Some arguing are in not. chat. People can't can't even agree in my own chat. So <laughs> they never agree in no your own chat. No wonder there's confusion, right? <sighs> okay. The newer Dragon Ball movies are canon. I'm talking about the Dragon Ball Z movies. Like for example, there's Dragon Ball Z movies that there's no way they could happen if you're following the timeline of the show. There's no times when these I love that uh, live action Dragon Ball Z movie. Fight. It's fantastic. It's like, like, so when much did Goku fun. Do this. He was either <laughs> in the afterlife or he came back later, and he was Super Saiyan. So how the hell could he have had this movie? What was the name he Dragon Ball Z Evolution or something? Scenario, you see, that's what. Oh, I'm it's so much fun. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, so that's coming out. That's the only news I saw today. I didn't really see much else news. In other news, I guess everyone's losing their uh, verified check marks. I think I lost mine this morning on Twitter. They're finally going through with it. And no, I'm not planning on paying for Twitter. Like I said, what do he's I really acting like he doesn't for? care. I use it to post up my schedule once a day. Okay. I use it every once in a while to give you guys the thought or an update. And I clone that on my YouTube channels, right? I put that onto my YouTube community page. Or so I have a Twitter so at all. I'm not paying for YouTube Premium. There's no point. I don't think I would get anything out of it that would be YouTube beneficial. Premium? Um, I don't use my Twitter enough to care. You mean Twitter Blue? It would be one thing if like Twitter was this critical, essential tool. But if you didn't hear, like, Twitter polls are now useless. Twitter polls, only people who are paid, verified, can even vote in a Twitter poll. No one else can. Well, guess what? I know the vast majority of people who follow me on Twitter Someone aren't. Should ask so if I do a poll, what, like 20 people are going to be able to vote? CGI so there's no point in ever doing a Twitter poll well, they don't, again. They don't uh, tie place. into video Elon games and is, stuff. Like I said, he is systematically... Uh, did I say YouTube Premium? I meant Twitter Blue. Twitter Blue is what it's called. Um, there's yeah. absolutely no reason to get it. I'm not getting Twitter blue. Um, again, unless unless they add a significant feature that I feel like I would I would use. And I've been waiting for them to say, hey, Twitter blue has this great advantage that you can use for your business. And I've been waiting and waiting. And I haven't heard a single feature. I mean, longer posts. I don't even need a longer post. Edit your post. I don't really care. I don't post enough to care he about can't, uh, He posts. can't call um, 
Joe Biden a cuck anymore. Oh Unlike no, other people who he doesn't have any more viral like tweets. Internet clout is important. I've done viral tweets before. Yeah, there we go. I ha I've had tweets that were the way giant. he shook his head. It's I mean, like, oh like yeah, can you guys believe it? I, I went and viral. Like Eighty thousand likes and retweets and shit like that. Guess how much it benefit me and my content on YouTube. Of course it doesn't, because you call the president a cuck and you shit on the isn't Oscars. Worth shit. It does absolutely nothing for you or your business. It's worthless. Elon Musk bought a business for fucking around on the internet that has absolutely no beneficial impact to anyone except for. Like he was calling on Elon Musk and sir, and he was replying to his now, post to Cloud Chase move. many, many times. Yeah, that one's sinking. So and now no, he's I'm a fucking idiot. Guy money to use the site. <laughs> That I get nothing out of besides uh, posting a schedule up once a day. Okay? It's a waste of my time. Sure, then just just don't do it. Again, I think what it is is these people who pay for Twitter Blue think that because they're verified, they're going to get some kind of clout on the internet. It doesn't mean shit. You could have, seriously, you could have crazy amounts of viral tweets on there. It does absolutely nothing beneficial to you whatsoever. It means it's nothing. It's frivolous. It's worthless. It's nonsense. But so didn't you just say you have the polls and you get boosted you in the algorithm and stuff? So yeah, for those people, it probably does Twitter something. Over a decade ago. I thought it was worthless at the time. And, you know, over the years, you know, it, at points it has had more importance to me over the years. Highs and lows. Yeah, when he shit point, on Pro Jared, he made a whole debunk really stream about it. Because he thought that um, so much would come out yeah, of it. I posted it up once a day. I posted my schedule, right? And I, you know, if there's any schedule changes or important things happening, I let you know on there. Right? Okay. Um, but I also echo all of that on my channel pages here on YouTube. Whether it's here on DSP Gaming or over on DSP Reacts, that's, I tell you that there too. So as long as you're subscribed to my YouTube channels, you're in the know. You don't really need to follow me on Twitter. That's kind of a superfluous thing. And since I don't care about Twitter, I don't buy, I don't build that following. I put no exclusive content on it. I haven't gr my Twitter hasn't grown in years. Like I, I think I've been around twenty five to twenty seven thousand followers for like four or five years because I don't care about it. You know. <clears throat> So just so you guys know, because a lot of people were like, oh, you lost your check mark. I saw multiple people messaging me in the chat this morning and stuff. Like, I don't care. He doesn't I don't care. care. <laughs> it, didn't, it doesn't, it never served me. Per the only reason I had the blue check mark was because of people impersonating me. Well, now, you know, just go to my YouTube channel. You don't need to okay. use Twitter anymore. You could have all, so always done this. Right? This was always so the thing. Now people could buy a check mark and look like they're authentic when they're not, which is funny. So what does authentic mean? Anyway, it doesn't. It doesn't um, mean the same thing anymore. I don't care that I lost the check mark. Doesn't checkmark. mean it's the same thing nothing. as it used and to. No, I'm not paying for Twitter Blue again, unless they add a feature that will benefit me. Maybe they will eventually say, "Hey, here's a really awesome thing you'll now get." Now somebody's gonna send him like he's is gonna tip him eight dollars and be like, "Hey, Phil, this is for your Twitter Blue." Twitter Blue has helped at all. There's nothing. Then he's there. gonna be like, "Yeah, well, I, 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 I can't, I can't do that." Doesn't help my business. You wanna ask the eight ball instead? Prioritizing my tweets by fucking paying for Twitter Blue. That's stupid. So, okay. You should have, yeah, he should have like an authentic right. Italian um, check mark that is like in the Italy colors. Shout outs now. So let's oh, shout out. So this was like a nothing pre stream. This was like now, a complete uh, waste Jade, of everybody's time. Jade, are you around this morning? I know you were here earlier. Are you here? Because I got someone who super chatted referencing you, and I don't like that. Because what? it sounds like they're trying to put words into your mouth. And if that's <laughs> the case, I'm just going to ban this person outright. <laughs> so I'm curious if Jade is here. I'm going to wait for Jade to answer. I'm going to wait for now. Jade to answer. I want to hear what he has to say about it's this. It's time ban. I don't like these fucking people messing with people in my chat. All right, so I'm going to see what he has to say about this. In the meantime, Liza Versol did a super chat. And he said, I got a pair of Dior Air Jordan 1s so I can flex on the broke boys. Okay. All righty then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What a Lysa story, Soul. Lysifer. Thank you. That cuck. is the latest super chat, regardless. <laughs> what a story, Mark. Okay. I'm going to send him a dollar he super chat. Tell him that I'm a billionaire right now, so and that he's a broke bitch. At his device. <laughs> Jade, when you come back, when I see you talking, I got a question for you. All right? Because I, I don't like people. I don't like people saying shit and be like, oh, well, this person said this. This person is saying that. Nah. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You no. people speak for themselves. You don't think you, but you he can barely talk, dude. You've, you've seen his messages. Else. It's so, time go. If this is the case. This person's just getting getting their ass right out of my stream right away. But we'll see. Okay. Um, a couple <laughs> tips came in early this morning. Oh. And I think what it is is someone was watching my content overnight and wanted uh -huh. to comments. So first of all, 
I received a dollar fifteen tip from an anonymous tipper overnight. Okay. The super chat was super I innocuous. It was like me and Jade is. would love your oh, Elden Ring weird. playthrough, some shit well, like it's that. Anonymous tip. Yeah, I, I read okay. the super chat earlier when it actually came through. I can't actually see it now because it expired. But it, it was uh, it, it was innocuous. Um, it wasn't anything like oops. anything like toxic at all. Caught up. I really enjoyed your ranking videos. It leads to endless possibilities, like maybe ranking the Call of Duty games or the Resident Evil games, maybe fast food joints, etc. I would like to see your take on them. So if you don't know what they're talking about, for the first what? time ever. On Are you serious? Bash Marathon event, I Dude. decided to do some tier maker rankings live with the audience, and each one I did was about an hour long video that was quite fun. I really enjoyed doing those with the live audience. People were adding their takes and kind of arguing with For those me. of you who don't know cons of certain things. Like we did number one was the best horror movie villains. And number two was the best game consoles of all time. Now, of course, these are flawed, and why they're flawed is because you're reliant on these things that people have set up. And yes. what selections are you're in too there. lazy uh, to make your so own. Horror movie villains immediately we started noticing there's no pinhead in here. There's no this character in there. But it is what it is. You know, the game consoles was good, but it definitely was missing a few consoles, and then there was tons of duplicates for some reason. But for a first attempt, I felt it was quite good. I thought it was pretty fun. Um, those videos are live over on DSP Reacts. That's my sister channel. The sister where I do that channel. kind of content. It's not gameplay or anything, so that's why it's not on this channel. It's always that kind of content will always be over on DSP Reacts. Okay, so head over, give <laughs> it a look. He's so repetitive, man. He just like talks right? in circles and all day. Be very happy to do more of those streams in the future. If you didn't in know fact, what a sister channel is, I'm gonna tell you. If you didn't know what a sister is, I'm gonna tell you. If you don't know what a channel is, I'll tell you. Once in a while, for variety on a late night chill stream. So let's say, for example, every once in a while we're playing games and maybe I beat a game. Like, let's say, for example, we beat Like a Dragonetian in the next week. Maybe we have a stream or two open where we don't really want to start a new game because I'm thinking of doing the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters, right? But instead of starting a new chill game for one or two nights, we do some Tier Maker rankings live together on the late stream. How would that go? That might be fun, right? Something different. Breaking it up doesn't always have to be about the gameplay and as i told you guys i am trying to diversify myself from just playing games all the he's time. aging this now be a cool thing he's an aging there. gamer okay he's the senior so, gamer thank you for the feedback i really enjoyed doing it <laughs> we had all these ideas we were doing fast food rankings this is all like car flavors, salesman uh, horror routine video it's so funny I mean, man Super mario games because we, we, people we just do that ideas, stuff they don't need to sell it to you like you're brainless so, so you can sorry, consume like, the product. They just do that stuff. Really and if you, and if you like it, you show up and you enjoy it. If you don't like it, and if we have like a set fuck off, you do something we else. Be like a, ch a, a chunk of a marathon. We could do that too. I'm down for that. I'm totally down for that. So if that sounds like a good idea to you, like I hate the way he needs know, to sell himself. He needs to be like, oh look, look at the way that I engage with people, the way that I'm interactive and chill, instead of just being interactive and chill. I think this is the same person. I don't know because again, it's anonymous. But they said, just listen to this. Wikipedia, the director, and everyone else collectively agrees that Jason won the fight in the Freddy vs. Jason movie. It was not a draw, laughing out loud. As an audience member and a fan, you need to be told when you're wrong sometimes, Phil. What? Well, Is this a I meme? saw the, the movie in theaters. All right? You didn't. You're a, you're a fluke. You're I mean, Excuse me. You're a fake. You're a phony. I saw the movie in theaters. And I remember at the end of the oh, movie, the horse fucker? Jason oh, yeah, of course. He out of the says, water, like, crystal iconic co comments. With a severed head of Freddy in his hand. Oh. Okay? I, 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 and I basically everyone watching the movie in the theater was like, yeah, Jason but won. But we don't give a fuck wow, about the theater. The, the director says that sudden, Jason won. Freddy's eyes open and he smiles and laughs and winks, implying he's not dead, implying the whole thing was a fake. Maybe he faked them out. Maybe he made him think he was dead. Maybe, not. but that's Maybe not Jason confirmed by anybody. That's just a fan theory. Maybe at some point we went to a dream sequence. Maybe you you're a know. fucking dream it's sequence. It's supposed to be an open-ended ending. That was the point. And we all just can't okay? wake up. And then the movie ends. So I remember everyone in the theater walking out and talking about it. So did Jason really win or did Freddy really win and he tricked Jason and that was the point. Everyone was a buzz about the movie when it ended. 
Like, okay. bro, he can't even it's take the L on this one this thing. thing. That is, like, the most, he like, mundane, any, casual right? thing to be wrong so about. I don't care what you're hey, I guess I was wrong, man. There we go. Jason won. That's, that's all you gotta say. You, you don't even have to feel like that. It just doesn't fucking matter. Excuse me, sir. So, in the ending of your movie... And now everybody is an idiot. Press a biscuit. Come on, come on, come on. In the ending of your movie... Who is the definitive winner of the fight between Jason and Freddy? Oh, fucking dumbass. I don't care. I don't care. I know what happened when the movie was out. People were buzz about that ending because it was. I thought it was well done. All right. So I don't care. You can you can correct me if you want. You still be wrong. What? No, the thing is, with a movie like that, it's, it's literally open to interpretation for a reason. But it, the because fucking director says so. A movie, people up, talk uh, about it, for the has their own take. Shit. That's the point. That that I'm shows. Right. No, that's not how it works, dude. Actually, was done pretty well or in a smart way, because now everyone still talks about it twenty years. You can't later. be serious. So there you go. This is like the most thing. The, the the segment that encapsulates DSP the most. He just can't be wrong. He can't say, hey, dude, I was wrong, I guess. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much, but I was wrong. That's it. He needs to go into his own, like, weird fucking experience with the movie and tell you how you're actually wrong. Even if you're literally pointing out, hey, the director said you're wrong. Well, there are some additional things, like there's Patreon and there's ad revenue. Primarily, it's your crowdfunding contributions on these streams. Wait, we're begging? And allow me to do what I love for a living. And I really appreciate that. Today, yeah, we're begging. if you like the content I'm putting out, please consider supporting via one of the following methods. Um, let's, let's take some guesses. The last thing he's going to say is tips. He's going to start with the free ones, right? Dropping a subscribe to the channel, like the stream, at 100 likes we blow bubbles, blah, blah, blah. Then he's going to say super chat, super sticker, gifted membership, gifted membership, or a tip. Liking the stream. As there we go. As liking First the stream, one is a hit. Engagement, lets more people know I'm here and playing games, and lets more people find me on YouTube. Please give the stream a like if you're enjoying it. A super chat or a super sticker. Ways that you can contribute through YouTube, and they're very nice. Uh, and help out the channel. Membership, long gifted membership, and tip. Or gifted memberships. Yes, that's consistent income. That helps in the long term. And we already talked about that, that today we're going to have increased viewership because of Silent Hill. So please consider that. Uh, a tip. Tips are great. Tips, tips uh, are great. <laughs> I need this so sound clip. Right hey, tips are things. great. And <clears throat> we have reward tiers for tips as well for how much raised on a certain stream. Please consider tipping today. Bro, this guy fucking sucks ass. So all those ass. things are available, and I will give you a shout out if you contribute in any of those ways. Because it's like, it's it, every day, like, who are you telling this to? Your chat is mostly members, and uh, at every point, there's just, like, some random, random dude. But it's like, they kind of know when they see the, the leaderboard in the bottom. They kind of know. Who are you saying this for? He's acting like he got hundreds of new people every day. Like his channel is blowing up and people don't know about this. To anyone who supports me in my content. Yeah, go fuck Some yourself. Some ghosts are coming in and voting on the poll that aren't even on the stream. Isn't that interesting? Well, maybe they left because anyway, you're boring as shit, right dude. Right now, it's neck and neck. 52% say new game with an audience assist. 48% say new game plus. So like I said, it seems like no matter what I do, I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if I don't. No matter uh, what I it choose seems to like somebody tomorrow, is winning the poll, the so that's that's the actual the choice. Thing. What do you want, a 90-10 so ratio? I think tomorrow I'll be playing Dark Souls 2. What do you think? Dark Souls 2 run? That's like, what, what do you actually want, dude? Stand. They're, they're just saying what they want. This bullshit. Okay. They're just saying what they want to see. And now we got to make them feel bad, of course. You didn't vote there unanimously. There's actually been an option for three, people are saying. There you go. Fuck this. Exactly right, Cassie. Enjoy this from getting to the bathroom. The restreams. Trolls are watching a restream. And then yeah. they call in, they vote, and then they leave again. Ah, yes. Okay. Do we get a shout out? And he's gonna do a clown mode now, of course. And it's always wrong. <laughs> it's always wrong. Stop being dense. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, 
Okay, what do you guys want to talk about? We have extra time. Cringe ass motherfucker. Chat, if you would like to talk. It's always like the second the time. The first time, time is here. the By different way, layout, and then he gets it wrong. <laughs> what a totally dumb motherfucker. Pretty cool that we had these borders for October, <laughs> and now we're bringing them back as I play more survival <laughs> horror games this year. That's the cool right, thing. Bathroom time. A good variety of borders to draw upon. So, pretty neat, right? Very nice. No, I'm not aware that today is an Easter Monday and it's celebrated in Poland. I know nothing about that. There you go. I am aware that Persona 5 Royal is on Game Pass. Thank you, Bulls Paradox. Dark Souls in the summer, says John Smith. John Smith wants me to play Dark Souls in the summer. There you go. Pickle Man says, hope your day's going good. What sort of questions do you have for you today? For Pickle Man? All right, Pickle Man, how about this? What is your favorite kind of pickle? And don't... I'm not talking about a human appendage. I'm talking about an actual edible, like, cucumber that's cured in vinegar. What's your favorite type of pickle? Great Phoenix did a super chat. He says, will you use spirit ashes in your Elden Ring playthrough? Uh, probably not. I think the spirit ashes are fine to use if you're doing a special run for them or if you're someone who's not good at Souls games, you haven't played them before. I feel like it's meant to be an assist or a crutch for someone who just wants to play it and doesn't really care about mastering the game system. I personally have played them all. I would rather challenge myself. I don't think I'm using them. I don't see the point. So there you go. Um... Lies for Soldiers did a super chat right. says, are you going to watch the Barbie movie? Uh, I don't know. If, would it be on demand somewhere? If it was on demand somewhere, and I was going to review <laughs> it, but I wouldn't like just choose to watch that out of the blue. I don't oh, think. It's man. Like my cup of tea. <laughs> just saying. Like, the way he's he's acting like he's broke, way, he can't go to the theater to watch anything. Chat, so anything. Just, there seems to be a big needs delay to be on demand. Recently. And he doesn't realize uh, how stupid it makes him look. Because everybody... That big of a delay, but there has Shut the fuck up, DSP. Everybody can see he's raking in more money than probably like 90% of the US. And then he's like, no, I can't, I can't do this. It has to be on demand. I can't buy this video game. It has to be on uh, Game Pass. I can't do this, man. It costs money. I can't do this. I can't do that. I was like, bro, uh, like, okay, then where does your money go to? Hey, uh, Anybody can point this out. Anybody can see through this. Weird. And can add to like a sandwich or something you're eating. But I, like, I don't think that those really have the same cleansing properties as a dill. <clears throat> All right. Cool stuff. Next question. There you go. <clears throat> um, let's see here. I received a tip. Splash. Baller alert. What is like a dollar? It's another troll. This is I'm not. I'm no, not it's read a this. troll. Why not? I'm not gonna read the nonsense. <laughs> Let's see here. Philip did a super J says your pool decided. Do not detract your viewers. Why are you acting like you're stupid? Your pool decided. Do dude, not attract your, viewer your viewers. pool, dude. What? And now we gotta go, go to clown mode. Oh, he got it right the first time. Your pool decided. What a fucking clown Do piece of shit. Do not attract your viewers. Like this. Hmm. Stop being dense. Hmm. But he always, yeah, that that that's right. He I'm always understands what fucking nice. jade means. But somebody who I put it to together a, an actual sentence, decided. he can't understand. What fucking idiot! The word detract doesn't make any sense in this statement. You either. know what he but means, you, though. You need to use the internet translation tool. You know what he okay. means. So you take that statement. Your pool decided do not detract your viewers. You feed it. You snake it into the internet translation tool. And this one, what? Piss me off about this dude so much, about so many things, but this is a good example. He speaks one language. That's English. He routinely mispronounces and misuses terms, words, phrases, you know, puerile, you know, different stuff. Anyways, but when somebody makes the slightest mistake in grammatical or some other kind of shit, he has to point it out. And now we get an actual clown segment where the dude is singled out. A dude could send him like, what, two dollars? A dude actually paid for this. They paid to get fucking power tripped on. They paid to get shit on. And you have to crank a crank and his buttons are do 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 boop and then it comes out and it says, Hey, you just ran a poll, please adhere to that poll so that way you're in line with what your viewers want. 
you could have easily said that you said before you ran the poll that the poll doesn't get to decide the final choice. That's all you could have said. Instead of being a fucking condescending, patronizing piece of shit asshole. At least I've been doing this long enough that I can kind of understand what people are saying. Oh. Even when they're not saying it. Oh, so, so it was all for nothing. It was all just so you can power trip on some dude. It was all so you can make somebody feel bad. Very nice. That, that makes it much worse, actually. I understand what you're saying, but you also have to understand that this is a poll where 578 people have voted, even though we only have 500 viewers on the stream. Um, and there's going to be way more than 500 people watching the playthrough. You understand that? There's going to be people watching live. There's going to be people watching on demand. This Phil, is if, whole... you've, if you've been doing this for long enough, you would know that people come and go from a stream, especially when it's boring. So when it's boring... They come in, they see what's happening, and they dip. And in this case, they might have come in, voted on a poll, and then they dipped. Audience. But it is, I guess I would say this is a good, uh, what's the word? I'm trying to think of my statistics class. That what they would call this. A good, um, a sample? Statistics class. That was a squeaky uh, break. Did you hear that, Jasper? Someone has a squeaky break outside. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is a good, I would say this is a good, Wow, so there's really squeaky brakes out there. Who is that? You heard that? A ratio? A sample size. That's what I say, a sample size. It's a pretty good... It's an interesting sample size, I would say. All right? Right now, the poll is neck and neck. 50-50. I'm not shitting you. It's 50-50 right now. Yeah. 50-50%. <laughs> no, John Meister, we already talked about this. I'm not doing Decided the, to leave uh, for Horizon Nairobi, DLC Kenya. this month. There's Purposely no point. Purposely bombed no my immigration appointment in Sikha, I like Izmir, the more than my Turkey, audience, to my study their systemic hyperinflation. Well, big ups, uh, Soren, for going to, to Kenya. Say hi to all the, the hot uh, princesses and kings. Why are we going against the poll? Who said we're going against the poll? No one said we're going and against the poll. And now people are the turning poll. against them. Anyway. Ah, he's being such a bitch. About? Big up, Soren. He's being such a bitch. <laughs> Bojangles, I don't even know what you're talking about either. Oh, Bojangles yeah, getting leaned in. Is he? I don't even know what you're talking about. Is that why you're not going to read the super yeah. chat so it doesn't get uh, in your podcast? I don't know what you're talking about. You're the super chat said, you make fun of him, him but yeah. Jade is actually yeah. regarded. Yeah. LOL, what? He's front yeah, front Jade front can't put together a single coherent sentence. Really. You actually so have to no, invent a, a language so you can understand them. But this dude got one word wrong. He said pool instead of pole, which is the word you can very easily get wrong. And he got a pole power tripping segment. But Jade gets special treatment, specifically because he's wheelchaired and can barely put together a sentence. Stop being dense. And now we're just sleeping. Okay, I'm I'm cutting to, to the present. Movie. It's a Christmas movie. I didn't even know that. <sighs> I don't know if we're playing. If I'm playing Dead Island too yet, it's undecided. He's waiting for the reviews of the people he hates. Jasper, do you want me to look out the window and see what the noise is? There's what noises? He's all he's all like bothered by them now. Outside. Dude, you're you're at work right now. Let's see what these noises You're working. Are. We're going to go see the noise outside. What? <laughs> Dude, this, this guy is not real, man. He's not real. He's working. He's recording a podcast right now. Imagine if Joe Rogan had to just get up in, in the middle of a podcast. Be like, you know what? I There's a noise outside. I need to check it out. I'll be right back. And then he's just gone. That's ridiculous. It's always our, our noisy people... That are behind our community because we have a back gate that closes off our private community oh. and the people on the street behind there what if they're detractors noisy, yeah, fucking they make so much noise they're always doing something they're doing renovations in there oh he almost they're calls them assholes. uh noisy they're assholes. assholes they're always making noise <laughs> he didn't want to diss the neighbors because somebody's gonna find them and send them the video and be like wait you call us assholes listen to this yeah fucking noisy yeah it's always our our noisy 
people that are behind our community because we have a back gate that closes off our private community and the people on the street behind there are noisy yeah fucking they make so much noise they're noisy yeah they make so much noise dude they're always doing something they're noisy they're humans in their yard they have noisy ass fucking truck coming by or something they're always making noise <laughs> and it makes it makes jasper freak out because he doesn't know what it oh, is oh jasper's freaking out he's as sheltered oh. as phil Jasper doesn't know know how to react to noise. Movies show the decline of superhero movies. Bro, there is no community gated enough for this guy to live and be comfortable. You can put him on a deserted island, and he's still not going to be comfortable because there's not going to be a Burger King nearby. I don't know because I haven't seen them. Perhaps it does. I guess we need one of those uh, padded rooms Oxford with the with the comfy walls. Play because I'm not even a big Star Wars fan, but it looks great. Yeah, the last one was good. The last... uh. Star Wars Jedi game was really, really good. So I'm excited for <laughs> Gary it. Gary Baxter is trolling him. Oh, he just got lean. Oh, no, he didn't. I Tell Jasper to man up. He's going to have to be the man of the house I soon. Know what, it, what it is. Never should watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a good comment, dude. He's going to have to be the man of the house soon. Implying that Phil is on his way out. He's getting older, you guys. Come on. He's AJ, getting I'm older. I'm so excited for Silent Hill. My favorite was always Silent Hill The Room. That's part four. Played you don't care. Before. I actually really liked it. <clears throat> cool. Everybody seems to be shitting on on the room, but I haven't played it, so I don't know. And now it's just ambient noise. It's ASMR. You know Obi Wan Shinobi. He says, "Do you do any any regular outdoor activities like fishing, hiking, or camping?" Number one, I just don't have time. I'm here six days a week. Full. You just don't to want to, and that's I an don't excuse. Have free time to go do that shit. Yeah, right. And number two, my wife doesn't like that stuff anyway. <laughs> so the answer is no. We don't do anything like that. Oh, his wife likes staying inside and playing video games. She's pretty relatable. There was this, uh, hold on, maybe I can find it. This have a big family hot though. fucking I gift. Relatives, but sadly, like, I think Ludwig like, shared it in the up. Discord. It was Cat right. picking her ass. Something happened in my family where all my family members started, like, hating each other. What? I don't know what the cause of it was because I wasn't <laughs> involved. You know, I was growing up having my own teenage life or whatever with my friends, and I was traveling to play Street Fighter. And behind the scenes, all my relatives started, like, hating each other. Sure we getting together for holidays and stuff. And I actually, to this day, don't actually know what the root cause of that was. <laughs> um, It was kind of sad. <laughs> and then over time... She's looking for gold. You know, people moved away or passed away. And so now, I really don't have much of an active family besides my, my parents. That's about it. I don't talk to anyone else or anyone else who we were friendly with has, has gotten elderly and or passed away. And, you know, it's sad. I remember the days when I was growing up and, went, for example... Christmas, always getting together with family. We would go to my great aunt's house on Christmas Eve, and then Christmas Day we would go over to my godfather's house, and we would have all these fun family things that we would do together, you know? But it just it went away over time, and I'm just like... He knows nothing no about it. No contact with anyone. I know, you no, didn't I, ask? Do I have second cousins? Yes, I hey, do. Hey, Papa, Papa Dave, why does uh, aunt and uncle hate you and you guys yell when they come over? Hey, Mommy Linda, why does Grandma look at me of the in a bad way and you always yell when they come over i have a, a, a just a first cousins yes i do do i talk to them no everyone had he doesn't care about people. anybody he just does his own thing and again it literally had nothing to do with me it wasn't that i got into arguments with anyone or anything it was all the other family hated each other so everyone just broke contact and moved on with their lives and moved away or whatever and i'm like <laughs> well at least I could say I wasn't responsible. I had nothing to do with it. Yeah. I never had problems with me or drama with me. I did nothing I wrong. <laughs> you never even cared to figure well, out was what was wrong. But it wasn't his fault, so it doesn't matter. Arkham's best. Just to me a dollar. The, the, there could be like actual nukes going off outside, and he knows it's not his fault, so he's not gonna care. Yeah, I, I'll be all right. It's I didn't do anything wrong, so I'll be fine. <laughs> it's so fucking goofy, it's man. Extreme. Not sure it's all about him. Like, everything revolves around him. And when he has nothing to do with something, he's not going to do anything about it. He's not going to give a fuck. I did what you're playing in April yet. Dredge is $25. It's about 12 to 15 hours long. He doesn't have that much. Night stream. Oh, I will have to think about that. I love my we parents. will have them in some late night years. chill streams. Open. <laughs> yeah, he loves his parents. He loves them so yeah. much. Um, what if we be like a graduation? It's kind of up in the air what we're going to be doing. So Dredge is a possibility. Uh, it hasn't been five years, I though. I think it was 2019 was, was the wedding, fishing game. I think. However that works, I don't know yet, but it sounds interesting. It certainly sounds unique and interesting, right? I'm drinking. 
Do I think the Borderlands movie would be good? Am I looking forward to it? No and no. <laughs> How about that? No and no. Double no. <laughs> Did I play Knuckles Chaotix? Yes, I bought it many, many, many hey, years that's later. Pretty interesting is uh, he closed the poll when... A. New Game Plus Genesis had 50% and New Game with Audience Assist had 49%. That's what the it's poll so says. Easy. It's very weird. It's like piss easy. How often do I talk to my parents? Once a week. Once a week we have a very thorough conversation. Very thorough. About how we're all doing. They get a pre-stream. By the way, because the, the poll ended perfectly tied at 50%. Because basically idiotic people watching restreams came in and said, Hey, let's fuck this poll. What? So Phil can't use it. How, how so did fuck you, you fucking uh, invent this? I'm just going to have to figure out what I want to do overnight. <laughs> right? Or I'll take your feedback in today and see what you guys are uh, saying. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what a fucking dipshit. So. <clears throat> he just invented a narrative that exists now, I guess. New Game Plus fucking bandwagon. So. <laughs> invented it. Because, like, I didn't send anybody there. I made my own poll. And then based on that, I put my own personal vote. And that was one vote. And I don't know of any other restreams that would send people right. to his Last stream to, to, to do something. Or and then we're going to take a brief break for me to use the restroom. And then we're going to jump into of course. Silent Hill 3 HD. All right. Oh, and then this... Super Chase says, so you won't do a new game plus. How do you expect Bro. new viewers? What are you talking about? What? Bro, this is this is like what his viewers are about. This dude sent him like two dollars earlier. He got laughed at and he got power tripped on by Dark Side fucking Phil. And now he sends him five. Just because. This dude is a fucking dumbass. Stop being dense. Stop being dense. Phil, what are you speaking of? And now he's gonna get the same we'll treatment play, again. And then he's gonna send him ten. Oh, and say, no Phil, what. you're a nasty poo poo no dude. What. I just don't know if it's going to be New Game Plus or Standard New Game. That's all we got to figure out. Everything else is, we're doing it, all right? But I just don't know what you mean. Like I said, it doesn't matter what I do, people are going to complain. So either one is fine, I guess, because people will whine no matter what. What I'll do tomorrow, just so you guys know, I'm going to bring a lot of cheese to the stream. So it'll go with the whining. And nice complimentary flavors. He's Three like masters. the worst dude. Am I thinking of playing? He's the or worst said, like one, community two, three, leader. I've already played four he's so and abusive. Multiple times on and YouTube, it, he's guys. abusive in like the most obnoxious ways. Because he's not even like a very successful dude who can power trip on people. He's not like a movie executive that owns like five penthouses in LA. He's just like a, a fat fucking moron on the internet that can barely get by on way too much money. And he has people give him money so he can power trip on them it's ridiculous so there's no point to that but one two three and, five and he thrives played. on this power trip because it's the only power he's got when somebody gives him money says something stupid and he gets to unload on them and tell them how stupid they actually are killing the boss and laser wouldn't that be amazing no i mean that's totally what you want right that's what you, that's the jesus christ you people man of course then we could totally be fashion souls Elden boobs because we could put different brassiers on the boobs as they float around the open world shooting things left and right. There you go. Wait, Amazing. wait, was this about like boobs? Hold on, because I, I skipped to the present. Told, my run's going to be called. It's a mod. We're going to do a mod. Just shooting. Laser nipples. Killing the boss and laser nipples. Wouldn't that be amazing? Laser I mean, nipples, dude. Wow. Oh. My eye. My eye! Go on a break already. Fuck off. off. I received a $10 tip. Uh, let's see here. It's an anonymous tip from a... Uh, it says, I'm a longtime viewer. I'm actually just returning today, and I want to commend you on your development. I think you've matured over time. You seem to be much more chill and over the shit that has happened to you in the past. Bro. I want to play an animation for that. Bro. Anonymous tipper. You can't uh, even and try and convince that me that this dude is real. Well, thank you. That's a very nice thing to say. By the way, now let's continue to talk about these disembodied floating boob shooting lasers through Elden Ring. That sounds like a good time to talk. Oh about my you. god. This you, you can't even try and convince me this dude is real. <laughs> sounds great. He sounds said like a copy pasta. This there. should be a copy anyway. pasta. Hey Phil, I'm a viewer that has watched your all of your playthroughs up until 2012. I'm checking up on you for the first time since 2012. And you've changed a lot. You've matured and 
you have a really beautiful goatee and a hairline that is even. Here's ten dollars. Sounds good. Thank you very much for the ten dollar tip. <clears throat> I appreciate that, and I appreciate the kind words. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> he looks like he's jerking off right now. Look at his right. Are you right hand. Oh, there's modders out there trying to make that happen. <laughs> you know that mod already exists. Yeah, are you kidding me? Uh, Any of this PC game has 4,000 ridiculous, stupid, immature, dumb mods, right? Okay. Mm, there you go. Now we're shitting on random mods that you literally don't have to play. That I don't know. I don't know when Silent Hill 3 originally... You actually have to put in effort to play them. So you play them only if you're interested. But they're dumb and they're immature and they're stupid and they're idiots. But I don't know when the uh, original game actually released. It had to be PS2 era, but I don't know when exactly. So, All right, everyone. It's time to end the show. Thanks for a it's great time show. to Thanks end the show. What, what was great, great about, about the show? What was great about this We're show? About start with Silent Hill 3, which I know you guys are excited okay, about. Okay, let's do a... But, uh, you know, this time of year... And we're going to do a cringe a segment. a creature that spreads the love. And I think that we should all give some respect to the what? humble bumblebee. And it's the same music from the last one. Oh, this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, wait, what, what was good about this pre-stream? We started off with the schedule for a single day. Then we talked about two news stories that he had basically nothing to talk about. We talked about more schedule about everything else. Then he was power tripping on a bunch of people in chat. He was shitting on chat because they didn't vote on a poll the way he wanted them to. Then he was shitting on chat because trolls were there, apparently, and they voted on the poll. And then he shit on some super chats and answered some questions with, like, weird, stupid answers. And then that was it. And now he's probably begging right now. Are we promoting, what, memberships? Because he didn't get any? Is that what we're talking about currently? Guess I need to restart okay. the page. I don't remember the setup of this game like silent hill 3 i don't really remember and we don't There's remember this display or whatever i don't think there is right the silent hill games are very immer immersive where they don't really have a big like hey big ups uh philip withrow the same dude that sent him that uh very intelligent super chat but with a different uh with a different profile pic so you're a different dude eh, debunked play on your screen <laughs> right so i think what this should story, be fine Mark? as it is i believe okay all right, we're going to take a five-minute break for me to use the bathroom. And we oh, yeah, and Jade is not three. here. We forgot He's about this. Anywhere. Yeah, Thanks he was chilling. asking right Jade. Back. Jade, are you here? Jade? 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 And Jade wasn't here. So there we go. And now we're going on break. But um, I've been streaming for too little of a time. So I'm not going to be done yet. I don't know what I'm going to do, though. Let's watch the, the Snort Brunel that I started watching yesterday. Not yesterday, earlier this stream. And let's see what this is about. He was crying about a touchpad. Oh. Big ups, Jade. Big ups, Jade. Yeah, it's it time. Um, go, I guess. Oh, yeah, the Wings concussion clip. I want to see that. I want to see that. Wings. Um, Did he try and fake a concussion? He's faking a concussion. Let's see. Let me make my own uh, opinion on this. Because some of those wings like clips I, I, are very biased. So I want to see exactly what this is about. No, I don't know if I got a concussion or not. Like, I, I feel like I have a concussion. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't hurt. I feel like, like there's pressure behind my eyes. <laughs> and they had to delay the signing of the contracts until then. Bro, he's pulling, like, the signature wings thing. That's ridiculous. It's a cool intro, dude. Let's skip it. Would I fight Sam High for a full 100k? Yeah, but I wouldn't train for that one. I'd just show up. Okay. Honestly. So I'd beat Sam Hyde in a fight. <laughs> Wait, what? He would not beat Sam Hyde in a fight. No, come on. Nah, he wouldn't kill me. Half of Sam Shut Hyde's down, personality is working out and fighting. He's not beating Sam Hyde in a fight. He's not even eat, beating him in a fucking hot dog eating contest. Come on. Big ups, uh, Mr. Differently Abled for the one month membership, dude. It's my birthday. Tip filled. That uh, that message to all. There we go. This is uh, is definitely not trying to impersonate anybody else. 
and it's him saying it on his own behalf. Thought I seen that. My partner fucking sucks oh, ass. He's crying about games again. <laughs> no, it's just it's just people that. <laughs> He's right there to your right, homie. I can't, my partner can't hear me, but he doesn't know that the guy's right to his right. He's gonna get shot in his side. Has he stopped playing uh, Rainbow? I don't think he's played Rainbow in a while. While I'm over here banning people. Oh man, I don't even have Modern Warfare 2 installed anymore. That's what I got. Elden Ring, Dark. Okay, so where's the concussion? Was that it in the beginning? I couldn't even see him. The underestimated their determination. I already tried that FPS golem, it didn't work. Dude, there's that mobile by my home. <laughs> Stop feeling sorry for yourself. No, nah, I thought I was replaced by Froggy Fresh. Oh, mm -hmm. there we go. Hold on. Pa -pa. Captain Chumpy. No, I don't know if I got a concussion or not. I just, I just feel weird today. Like I, I feel like I have a concussion. You know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't hurt, but at the same time, I feel like, like there's pressure behind my eyes. Motherfucker, you've been asking if you could play this whole time and you just now turning your PS4 on? No, nah, no sensitivity light or anything. Like I said, people That's take very shit sus. too literally. Like I said, I have a concussion. I've never had one before. But no, Kelly well, This hard. was a very weirdly cut clip. So this this clip was cut in a very specific way. Look at this. No, nah, no sensitivity light or anything. Like I said, people take shit too literally. Like I said, I have a concussion. Le like I said... I have a concussion. I've that never that had one before. Come on. No, Kelly hits Kill hard. That. Like like she probably didn't hit as hard as like I don't know like a professional fighter. But believe it or not, she rocked my fucking jaws the other day. Really? Like, this the corner of my jaw here and here. Cause like the problem was is Kelly was so is so much shorter than me. She hit me <laughs> right square in the tip of the fucking jaw on both sides. It's like bam, bam. And so like the whole evening, like you, you I'm doing this number. He's working out for the ready. for the Wendy's chili eating contest. That's that's the true competition he's showing up for. Change of motion. Nobody wants to the know Wendy's yeah. eating contest. Almost as boring as your fucking creativity. Got a Star Wars reference of a name and a fucking from software character as your icon. Yeah, Keemstar is supposed to be coming to my house. That's been playing for like a month now. Anybody can damage you in the right way, man. Okay. Kelly was supposed to put the boxing gloves on and do it, but she put on her pads because I told her to just be outside and go get the gloves. And I t but all I told her for her is I wanted her to hit me as hard as she could. My man's character kind of looks like uh, Wesley Snipes. He looks like Wesley Snipes if he was like anorexic. My character looks like Travis Dano from the Braves. Dude, Boogie <laughs> with that stupid last <laughs> punching bag he has, that's not a pun Like, that thing, I, what is... Let's see if I can find it. What no, is that thing uh, called? Like, this, not... this doesn't give me a lot of confidence that he's actually going to show up. So I think he might actually pussy out with this uh, concussion thing and then say that he's worried about his health or something and then just end up not showing up. That would be that would be a very, very Wings thing to do if he ends up doing it, which might be what he's going to do. A heavy bag. Here's something similar to it by Everlast. Let's see what it weighs. Item weight 100 grams, 1,000 grams, I'm sorry. So 1,000 grams? 2.2 pounds, is that right? One size boxing Everlast, color black and white, item weight 1,000 grams, aesthetic. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, Playboy? Uh, nothing. Uh, we getting... What's up, Playboy? You got Playboy uh, Cardi playing with him? Wow. Right here. Okay, yeah, okay, this is boring. Uh, should we watch some more of The Villain or Snort Burnell? Because I actually want to fi find out how you can live life as a black pillar. But then again, I want to find out how you can live life as Dark Side Phil. So I'm kind of split on that. Let's check a little bit on The Villain. Not, not the whole thing. Then the black pill is for you. The black pill is for you. There we go. We're done. It's emotional and you can't control your emotions. You know, the funny thing is the villain has better audio bal balancing than Phil. Because DSP is the only dude I have to boost. Everybody else I have to remove the boost for. Um, you can't handle things that are uncomfortable. Then I, the, the black pill is not for you. You should turn back right now. You know, um, I think taking this pill and living this lifestyle or practicing this ideology, whatever way you want to say it, it's, it can be liberating. Okay. You know, and I think just the idea of detaching from this world and not giving a fuck. <laughs> Detach from the world. To say about it. Bro, you're taking the wrong pills, dude. Thing. You know, um, you don't seek. He's popping a Zan, not a black pill. A black pillar. You don't seek to go to clubs. 
You don't seek to go to house party. Wait, this you is don't... not the actual villain? Is this the lore? He's not... This is not the villain? Is it the same voice? And, um... I, I don't know if she's still in traffic or... Kind of sounds like seek it. Seek to be around groups of people. You find yourself being... You find yourself being depressed when you're around people. But you find yourself being happy when you're by yourself when you're sitting by yourself and you're contemplating in your own mind when you're contemplating in your own thoughts when you're around other people you're constantly swimming through other people's bullshit other people's thoughts you're always trying to um avoid influence from other people and it's just it's very uncomfortable for me at least and that's why for me I don't operate in the daytime. I operate in the nighttime. When He's lurking, asleep, dude. I'm awake. <laughs> when people are awake, I'm asleep. He's like Santa. I don't want any part uh, of this world. Dude. You know, I don't want to <sighs> operate in this system if I can help it. You know, my for me as a black pillar, I understand that this <laughs> black <never> pillar. <laughs> and so uh, I have to change the way I live my life. I'm lurking. I, 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 I go outside at nighttime and I go for walks. I drive my car at night because I already know when I go out at a certain time. It's that kind of reminds me of Richard Ramirez, the night stalker, a literal ser serial killer. That's exactly what he did as well. Exactly what he did. Suck a dog. <laughs> be silence. There's not going to be many people out. And I like it like that. I like when people say I'm mentally ill. I like when people say, <laughs> oh, I'm weird. I like when people say I'm lame because I'm not chasing women 24 seven or I'm not trying to, you know, um, get a girlfriend or get a wife. I do have a wife. I do have a girlfriend. Her name is loneliness. Her name is solitude. And every day when I get home, she's always gonna be waiting on me. That's my fucking bitch. That's my bitch. My bad bitch is solitude. I need this clip, dude. My bad bitch is solitude. Home. She's always gonna be waiting on me. Oh, this dude is hot. That's my. Fucking We're replacing bitch. Phil with this dude officially. Bitch. You should That's make more my stuff. My bad bitch is solitude. There we go. <laughs> uh. God damn it, dude. Solitude doesn't talk. Dude, he has a family and operates a household and he has a beautiful bad bitch. It's called Solitude. That it just <laughs> listens. That's oh, the... yeah, I can make a song off of this guy because this guy sounds badass to, to be in a song. I can even do it now. I have nothing to do now. I ran out of content. So I can either play Resident Evil 7 or I, I can make a song. So this time I'm going to put two things in the poll. Uh, what time? Time song or time RE7. Okay, and you make sure to vote on what you feel like, and then I'll make you feel bad about it. Because that's what we do here. Best girlfriend I ever had. It's the best bad bitch. Right? I don't got to deal with bullshit. Solitude. Solitude is the only Nawal. If there's any Nawal out there, it's going to be solitude. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. Oh yeah, that's a that's another good one. I'm clipping this one. Marry yourself. Solitude. Solitude is the only Nawal. If there's any Nawal out there, it's gonna be solitude. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. That's the only person that's gonna understand you is yourself. Don't ever count on other people to understand you. It's a waste of time. And I'm just gonna tell you right now, if you have any optimism of this world. If you feel like you're going to travel the whole world in hopes of that one girl, you're wasting your time. The one thing you have to do is give up hope. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of sounds like a fucking manifesto, dude. We need to get a, a, a vibe check on this dude.
<laughs> All we gotta do is just give up hope, dude. That's the one thing you gotta do. The one thing everybody says you should never do, that's the last thing you should do is give up hope. That's the one thing you gotta do. The first thing you gotta do is give up hope. And then life gets a lot easier, especially if you have access to firearms. Understand, there is no fucking hope. There is no hope in this world. Life is pointless. Life has no meaning. And, and the thing is, most people who are low, low of lower vibration, most of these people think that because life has no meaning, therefore they're gonna be, you know, there's no, there's no point of living anymore. Bro, this is just, uh, this is just LTG for like incels it's just ltg for incels that's all it is now you can take that approach if you want to it's just like a small dick ltg but i say you take time <laughs> to regain your sovereignty just give up hope right when only thing you gotta do is give up hope living as a black pillar take time to regain yourself regain your independence when you were blue pill you didn't know how to think for yourself you always thought on how other people wanted you to live you always cared about how other people you know every, everybody's opinion of you now when you take the black pill you don't care you don't care about driving the nice car you don't care about living a certain lifestyle wearing a certain clothes uh clothing line you're done trying to impress women you're done all right all right all right people. we get it so until uh, before we get into the rest of this, I can see the poll is already a, a landslide, so it doesn't really matter. I'm closing it. If you voted, you voted. If you didn't, then you are about to blow. I'm about to blow. Anyways, uh, this dude is gonna fit, but I wanna I wanna put him in like a kind of like a Suicide Boys kind of song, like really dark instrumental and and like trap trap beat inspired beat. So let's let's start putting something together, right? First, I want some kind of a sample. Let's start with a random sample, something that is dark. This is the darkness we're looking for. We're looking for the black pill. This song needs to be the embodiment of a black pill. It needs to taste like a black pill. You put that song, makes you want to commit crime. But in like video games, something. We don't want to actually encourage people through music to commit crime. Like rappers. Um... And then, let me find some some weird uh, sample collection. Let's see what we got here. I need something in a minor key. We're big fans of the minor key. Let me turn off this song. Nah, these are all too positive. I need. I think I had somewhere some dark loops. Dark. And they said dark on them. I am pretty sure I still have them somewhere. So I just need to find them. Tonal loops. Oh, there we go. Dark loops. Let's see. Nope. Nope. Yeah, it's not bad-ish. Okay, let's 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 try this one. Let's try this one because this is just the just the string section. Let's stretch it a little bit because it uh, when it's slower, it sounds darker. All right. Maybe drop the key a little bit. Let's see how it is in the normal key. I want this song to sound like the Joker. Like, is the Joker making all these sounds? It's not bad. Yeah! There we go! There we go, we got the right loops. Now let's put some, like, insane fucking trap beat underneath. Like, some brutal shit. Something that makes you feel like you're Spider-Man. Uh, so what's the BPM? BPM is 130. Nah, this is not gonna do it. 
uh, let's see, I had some, some kind of a drum thing somewhere, somewhere. Oh yeah, there we go. Drum loops one, one thirty ish. Nope. Let's see this one. This this one might fit. Let's see it. All right, that 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 kind of sounds good. That sounds good. Got some some good shit going on the fly. Uh, maybe I can try some other stuff because it's it's not always the first one that works the best. But okay, let's let's try one or two more. Maybe it's gonna be something else that's better. Oh, how about this one? This sounds this sounds cool. It has a cool vibe to it. It's also called cocaine, which is something that uh, he should definitely try. Eh. No, nah, I think I like the original one better. Okay, okay. Let's uh let's go for the clips. Let's see the clips that I have right now. I have two clips, which is Bad Bitch, and the uh, second one is Marry Yourself. Solitude. Solitude is the only the wall. If there's any the wall out there, it's gonna be solitude. Marry Solitude. Solitude is the only the wall. Right? If there's any the wall out there, it's gonna be solitude. Marry yourself. Solitude, solitude is the only the wall. If there's any the wall out there, it's gonna be solitude. Marry yourself. Yeah. We we'll waiting on. We we'll waiting on. That's my fucking bitch. That's my bitch. My bad bitch is solitude. <laughs> yeah. My bad bitch is solitude. Uh, and then I want, uh, That's My Bitch. That's My Bitch, I like that. And maybe the song can be called That's My Bitch. Because, uh, it's a catchy thing, right? We, we gotta hear. That's my fucking, that's my bitch. That's my fucking bitch. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that sounds cool. It's dark as fuck. It makes you feel like you're an incel and you've never busted a nut in your life. And you're really sexually repressed. So that's the vibe I'm going for. Okay. Let's try aligning it together in like a... Kind of like a basic, basic primitive kind of way. Let's see this. That's my fucking bitch. That's my fucking bitch. That's my bitch. My bad bitch is solitude. <laughs> That's my fucking bitch. Uh, I don't think I need the fuck in here. I think I need just uh that's my bitch. Let's put it here for now. Uh maybe put it here, turn off the track. That's my That's my bitch. That's my bitch. Maybe I can even cut it up a little bit more so it can fit on the beat. That's my bitch. Yeah, like this. Something like this, okay? That's my bitch. My bad bitch is solitude. <laughs> and then I got marry yourself. Solitude. Solitude is the only the wall. If there's any the wall out there, it's gonna be solitude. Marry yourself. There we go. And the intro is going to be the intro to the video because the intro to the video is golden. It's it's phenomenal. It's like, you want to find out what it's like to live with a black pill? 
What's going on, everybody? This is Renegade Number One, aka the Feminist Killer. Hashtag Logitorium. <laughs> I need the Feminist Living Killer in there. As a black pillar, <laughs> that's what I want to talk to you guys about. Now, if you're deciding to take the black pill for the first time, you got to ask yourself: Are you ready to accept everything in your life? Are you willing to accept the fact that you're gonna die alone? Are you accepting of the fact that the only thing you look forward to is yourself? Are you going to accept the fact that you may lose all your family members? You may lose all friends. <laughs> you may lose your girlfriend. You may, you're may you going to lose everything. If you're ready to risk it all right now, take the black pill and live as the black pillar. This is it. Yeah. This is it. This is my intro. This is my intro. It's fantastic. Uh, and we, we got all the gems in there. We got the feminist killer introduction. We got the, are you ready to risk everything? Let's see if we can fit it all in one. Hey, the feminist killer, hashtag logitory. Living life as a black pillar. That's what I want to talk to you guys about. Now, if you're deciding to take the black pill for the first time, you got to ask yourself, are you ready to accept everything in your life? This is a little bit too long, so... Now, if you're deciding... Let's, uh, let's trim it a little bit. So in the beginning, I want the intro where you, you, we got to have the, the feminist killer intro. Hey, the feminist killer, hashtag logitory. Living life as a black pillar. <laughs> and then I think the, the cool part starts here somewhere. Hey, you may lose all your family members. You may lose all friends. Okay. You may lose your girlfriend. You may, you're going to lose everything. If you're ready to risk it all right now, take the black pill. Oh, there, gonna, there it is. You may, you're going to lose everything. If you're ready to risk everything, if you're ready. Okay, here it is. Uh, so let's take this one here. Put it in the beginning. I think it's going to fit. Oh my God, it fits almost perfectly. Let's, let's hear it with the, with the instrumental and everything. Hey, the feminist killer, hashtag logitory. Living life as a black pillar. If you're ready to risk it all right now, take the black pill and live as the black pillar. Bad fuck my bitch. My bad bitch is solitude. Marry yourself. <laughs> That's it, Chad. We got it. We got it. The intro is on lock. It's on lockdown. We got the intro. This is going to be the most bass song. It's going to be turning people in cell left and right. You play this at the club, everybody's going to just start punching women. It's going to be hilarious. That's my bitch. My bad bitch is solitude. Marry yourself. Then I, I want the marry yourself to be actually on beat, and then it's gonna be hot. That's my bitch. My bad bitch is solitude. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. Mar I, 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 I want to repeat the marry yourself a couple of times. I don't know. Self. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I guess I need more uh, more voice lines. Hey, the feminist killer. Hashtag logitorium. Living life as a black pillar. Let's put a quick uh, quick filter on this one. Drop it. Booty filter. Uh, low pass ish. Triangle low pass. There we go. And do this. Bang. Very quick. Speed run. Hey, the feminist killer, hashtag logitorium. Living it all right now. Take the black pill and live as the black pillar. That's my bitch. My bad bitch is solitude. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. It's not bad. 
Wait, so this is this is not the villain? This is some dude that committed suicide? Hold on. Hold on. I don't know how appropriate this is gonna be. Because it's a banger. But I didn't know about this. Hold on. This is not very cool. I don't know who fucking Renegade is. I thought it was the villain dude. Everybody said it was the villain dude. Can make fun of a dude who committed suicide, even though he's very funny and he uploaded his shit on the internet. Uh, we could make fun of the, the fucking villain because we know he's still alive. But... Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I guess I can put it to a poll, right? I can put it to a poll. All right. All right. Let's see. Is Renegade funny to make a song about, right? Yes, no. Hold on. Yes, no. You guys decide. For me, I think it's okay. Because I have no idea who the fuck this dude is. And also, we make songs about fucking everybody. So I don't care. But if you decide it's not a good idea, then it's not a good idea. Because I'm, I'm also going to put the villain in it. Of course we're going to put the villain in it. It's going to be Black Pill Mafia, which is both of them. Obviously. Or whatever. But this dude has, like, shitty audio, so I guess I'll have to, like, take some more time. Uh, I, don't, I don't care anymore, man. I think I'm done with this shit, man. I'm done with this whole thing in general. Oh, people say, oh, this... Why don't you just... Don't worry about the escort, man. They don't give a, they don't give a shit about you anyway. So what's the point? Yeah, I understand that, but, you know, I haven't had anything in the past year, and it's really, like, bothering me a little bit. And it's really, I'm really, you know, I want to get something, but this, this chick was really good, you know, she was really good. And, you know, I'm never, probably never get a chance to do it again. There's probably other chicks that are good, right, good looking, but probably more expensive. And I'm not trying to do all, I'm not, not trying to spend a lot of money on that. What? The first thing I escort I had was terrible. This one flaked on me, I guess. All right, bro. This this shit is hilarious. But this, like, in my book is fucking funny because this is some shit you put on the internet. And on the internet, any kind of shit you put can be laughed at. That's why I think it's fair enough to put my face and, and, and voice out there. So if people want to laugh at me, they think it's funny. I think it's fair game because I laugh at a, another dude. He puts his face and fucking name out there. So I think that's fair. I'm not making fun of the fact he killed himself. I didn't know. I didn't even fucking know who the dude was. But the song is a banger. That doesn't change that fact. And I think it's a pretty, pretty funny song. So I think it is pretty appropriate. And I think the poll agrees with me. I, I, I love the horse. So we're going to keep... Um, I'm going to keep working on it through the... I guess until the verse. And then the verse is going to be the villain dude. And uh, about the villain, I am sure, because I've heard a lot of them, uh, there are some very, very funny sound bites. And I think it's, it's in uh, this one. It's in this one. And it's a pretty short video, too. Become the villain or the hero of your story. The lonesome warrior, the fearless warrior uh, throughout your life. Um, this won't be a depressing video or dark or anything like that. But this meaning will be towards Black Pill and Doomer shit in TFL. So, fair warning for any of you who's watching. Um, yeah, become the, 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 the villain of the fearsome war that you want to be in your life. Uh, if you don't want to live by society's rules, then fuck them. If you, if you don't want to live by people saying things about you, why you care about what society thinks about you or anything like that, you know, fuck them. They don't belong to you. They don't, they don't do anything to you. They don't really pay your bills there at the end of the day. If they want to call you, a lot of these petty shits that go around these days, they call you ugly. They call you so, so five human. They even call you a fucking normie for some reason, which is funny. Call you a what? A normie? They're all, all NPCs. They're all followed by mob mentality. NPCs, they're they're really like Agent Smith of the world, and when you become the villain of your story, you you tend you tend to fall towards the darker side of your life, the the, the side where you become you're, you're being bullied every day, 
if you're at school, at work, at home, and you're dealing with so much trauma in your head, PTSD maybe, or you're dealing with a lot of depression, a lot of anxiety going through your head every day, and you're, you're full with anger, but you can't really, you know, explos- explosively uh, I'm drinking anger. So what I do is I sometimes what I do is I go to the gym and I and I anger out the weights. I hit the iron as much as I can. Um, hey, there we go. He gets the iron. Like I'm just you know average, not average, but. Uh, oh, excuse me. That's all I'm gonna say if I get there. I'm pretty <laughs> strong. Bro, it's a seven-minute video. How are you getting sleepy already? Come on, we're making a video. But anyways, um, <laughs> oh, I'm sleepy. What I'm talking about what I'm talking about is um, a lot of us are in this situation. A lot of us are in prison, and a lot of us are dealing with some different types of really uh, dark shit that's going on, and some of us really have nothing to do. And sometimes we wander in our heads all the time, and we realize we look at heroes throughout the, throughout our lives, and all they do is gravitate towards blue pill and uh, gynocentric behavior. Well, the villains uh, mainly towards I mean, some villains gravitate towards uh, the blue. Ah, pill, dude, right? there, there, there aren't even any good fucking sound bites in this. It's just boring. And the dude is bored because he's yawning. And there's, uh, and there's some black, and there's some villains who gravitate towards like the black pill, not the black pill, but mainly that darker side of of humanity that we never seen before. Are we seen before all the time? It's either due do uh, causing a mass genocide to acquire balance. What? Or causing chaos throughout the city. Acquire or, balance through mass genocide. Like fierce emperor throughout the galaxy. <laughs> Become a fierce emperor throughout the galaxy, dude. What is what the fuck is happening? I was watching DSP earlier talking about video games, and now we're conquering the galaxy, dude. Whatever. It <laughs> I think it's fucking Darth Vader. Is that um the villain is? There's usually a certain a certain reason behind that. And he the villain usually want to explain the flaws in society and heroes and all that stuff. Why it doesn't work. Why. It, Certain things are not really up to par, you know. And this is this is how psychopaths and sociopaths are created through society being mistreated, being uh, undesirable, being bullied, being pecked on every day. Okay, say something and that can go in a song. Come on, please. Do something, you know, really extremist, or do something really extreme about it and you don't want to live with society's rules anymore you want to do anything you just want to go out there and just do some heinous acts which i'm not promoting this is not a video about that but okay that's a that's a good disclaimer villain. he's not promoting actually being the villain in real life society is just like on youtube born you know there's 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 um there's mainly uh those villains that are really extremists that go out and you know, do things badly. <laughs> I, I I gotta give a shout out to my own comment from three months ago. Star Wars isn't real. Go take a shower. Uh... <laughs> ER, um, there's other types of villains that are, they don't do anything, but they're really calculating cold, you know, stuff like that. And I think that's uh, very important going forward as a villain Become whoever you want to be. If you want to become a hero, you cool. Become a hero. If you want to become an anti-hero, become an anti-hero. If you want to become a villain, then uh, go for it. Uh, you know, but just don't harm anybody by doing uh, anything like that. Um, I think that's important not to harm anybody. I mean, if you don't like society, don't. don't I don't. I don't like society. I. I, I think it's society nobody likes society rules and regulations and being controlled by the puppets and all that nobody shit. Nobody likes so society. Be. Uh, gravitate towards that. Society is just a bunch of fucking idiots. Anything really. And shills. I feel like becoming the warrior that you need to be, become the fight. You're in the struggle, and then you come out, become the villain of your story, and you want to be 
all this other nonsense that you want to do and it's crazy um it's tough being uh sometimes being a hero or being the blue, the blue pill normie because you're living in a fantasy world by the villain living yeah okay in the darker world. uh let's see some of the other videos what else do we have being an introvert hating people and this society i'm better off alone let's see this one what's going on youtube back out channel the video um you're better off alone in this world you're better off alone for me at least because i already, already accepted being alone and everything um it's just that i don't like being around people all the time that have like some type of weird agenda that they're trying to do. The people like to use you. People like to abuse you. People like to. Uh, there we go. We have something. Uh, bring you along to like a gathering and that they're trying to do. The people like to use you. People like to abuse you. People like to uh, uh, bring you along to like a gathering okay. and make themselves feel better while you're just sitting there being lonely in the, in the corner. Okay. Okay. Let's let's see this one. Can we use this one? Is this going to be usable? Is this going to be something worth anything? Let's find out in this episode of Making Beats About Incel Dudes. First, uh, okay, let's forward it to this track and make it mono because his audio is trash. People like to abuse you. People like to abuse you. People like to... Uh... Uh, bring you along. Uh, bring you along. Okay, let's let's see let's see this. So what what do we got so far? Dad fuck my bitch. My bad bitch is solitude. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. The people like to use you. I think it starts here. Oh, that's that's not a it's not a bad one. Bad fuck my bitch. The people like to use you. People like to people like to use you. People like to use you. People like to abuse you. People like to uh. Yeah, let's see this. People like to use you. People like to abuse you. And then I could use a marry yourself somewhere here. People like to abuse you. People like to abuse you. Marry yourself. <laughs> oh. I got pretty bummed out though. Cause I thought this this dude was the villain. And this all fits so perfectly. But then it's some some fucking incel dude that committed suicide. And then it's it's instantly unfunny. A the feminist killer hashtag logitorium. Living life as a black pillar. If you're ready to risk it all right now, take the black pill oh. and live as the black pillar. Bad fuck my bitch. My bad bitch is solitude. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. Marry yourself. People like to use you. People like to abuse you. Marry yourself. Yeah, I, I found the actual um, article thing. Fuck. There we go. Uh, actually, yeah. So yeah, I, I don't think I'm I'm all on on board with this, cause it's like it's some dude like whatever it is he fucking committed suicide. I don't think it's it's cool. I think the song is a banger. That's a that's a different topic. But I think I'm gonna drop it at this point. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent on board with it. A the feminist killer hashtag logitorium. Living life as a so this is what we're gonna get. It's a it's the unreleased tape. I can render this. I can upload it to SoundCloud or something. But I think that's gonna be it, cause uh, I'm not I'm not a hundred percent, and it's not fun when I know all this stuff now in retrospect. It's it's not as fun. 
But we can definitely make a song about something else. If you guys have some uh, cool interactive ideas, we can make it. We can make a fucking DSP song. If there's some uh, fun type of stuff. Let me just make a new project. Because uh, this is, it's, it's not as fun knowing that it's, it's some kind of tragedy that happened. Even if this dude was like a piece of shit, like woman hater or whatever, fucking black pill, incel, whatever. It, it's just not as fun. So yeah, let's see. Uh, maybe we can find something about Dave. Could it be a birthday song? Could it be a birthday song? That wouldn't be a bad idea, huh? I don't think that's a bad idea, honestly. Uh, Jasper song? Catred for Jasper song. Hmm. Derek song. Oh! Oh, wait, 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 wait. Pigpiggo.net. And not found, okay. Um. There we go. I think there was, um. It was a cumin. When, when DSP said cumin. Wonder if I can find it. I don't know about Jade. I would do like a... Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of good ideas in chat. Uh, cumin. I know it's it's called cumin, but then he called it cumin. And I don't know how it's going to pop up in Pig Pig Go. Why was it cumin and Goku in Japan? So it's not this. I remember it was from some feasting with a king or something like that. Cumin spice. Is it cumin? Does it cum? I'm gonna read it. Thank you for the cheer, cumin spice. Cumin spice, but he said it way too. Yeah. Well, cumin spice cheered and said a very positive message, but it's. Yeah, cumin. Okay, I'm getting cumin. We're making a Derek song. Here's I'm not gonna read here. <laughs> Well, Cumin Spice cheered and said a very positive message, but I, it's so long I'm not going to read it. Cumin. Uh, Cumin. Cumin, Cumin, Cumin. Okay. Cumin Spice. Well, well Cumin Spice. Cumin Spice. Cumin. 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 Still, man, it's, it's way too fast. There was a, a good one. So it was from the... Um, okay. Feasting with Phil, was it? Feasting with Phil, right? I think it was one of these. Then I'll have to find it. it was when he had the the Greek stuff, the Mediterranean Did stuff. Prosciutto and make it a parody of falsetto. Falsetto? What is the falsetto? Is it a rap song? And the the prosciutto thing is it? It's so fucking weird. It's a prosciutto. If you guys don't know what it is, I'll tell you what it is. Now I gotta find it. What is Chinese food? It's Q and A. This dude's channel is so good. Oh, redemption for the DCU. So what? Okay. When did he eat food last? Feasting with. Oh, there, there we go. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Feasting with the King. How should I look is it up, though? Is it cumin? Is it cumin? Uh. Was it like? Let's look up spice first. Spice or herb? Spice or herb in it? Herb. It makes it like stand out. But I don't know what it is. It's not lingering, but it tastes great when you're eating it. Moist, juicy, tangy. Because it, it's definitely lemon. There's a lemon. Yeah, I took this for the for the burger song. I took the moist, juicy, tangy from this clip. But it's got this unique char flavor. From the way they grill it. Mmm. So you got lingering citrus of a lemon. With some again, whatever that seasoning is they put in the rice, they definitely Oh yeah, there we go. Cumin? You think the yeah, oh, wait. they put in the rice? They definitely put it on cumin? You think it's cumin? Maybe it's cumin. They definitely cumin. Put it on, you got lingering <laughs> citrus of a lemon. With some again, whatever that seasoning is they put in the rice, they definitely put it on cumin? You think it's cumin? Maybe it's cumin. They definitely we got the cumin. Okay, we got cumin. Okay, we got the cumin sample. There. Then, what else we got? I think, uh, let's look up Derek on here. Derek. 
Oh, yes, Derek. See you Thursday, Derek. Derek, see you later, Derek. Let's see, Derek. What's going on? Derek, what's going on? He says, I love DSP Reacts. I'm glad to hear that, Derek. I'm glad you liked the content yesterday. <laughs> I can make it a... Uh, Derek says, hey, I love Kumin. It sold as a set on Amazon. <clears throat> Something like that. Derek, what's going on? He says, I love DSP Reacts. I'm glad to hear that, Derek. I'm glad you liked the content yesterday. I'm not going to stop gaming in the near future. I don't know what you're talking about, Felix Nate. I'm not stopping gaming. Okay. Well, let's try and piece this together. Uh, can't handle all my tabs. There's so many tabs open. So silly. And, okay. It sold as a set. Derek, what's going on? He says, I love DSP Reacts. I'm glad to hear that, Derek. Okay. Derek, what's going on? Then it's going to be... DSP Reacts. I'm glad to hear that. DSP Reacts. DSP Reacts. Okay, we cut off the DSP Reacts. I'm glad to hear that, Derek. Okay, and we put cumin instead. Beatrice, I'm glad to hear oh, that, lemon. Derek. I'm glad you like some, the Again, whatever that seasoning is they put in the I'm rice, not going to stop gaming. They the definitely put it on cumin? You think it's cumin? Beatrice. Maybe it's cumin. 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 There we go. <laughs> there we go. It's the cumin. Let's see how this sounds. Derek, what's going on? He says, I love cumin. I'm glad to hear that, Derek. <laughs> I'm glad you liked the content yesterday. I'm not going to stop gaming in the near future. I don't know what you're talking about. Hear that, Derek. There we go. That's it. Let's trim the beginning. Derek, what's going on? He says, I love cumin. I'm glad to hear that, Derek. Derek, what's going on? He says, I love cumin. <laughs> oh, there we go. And let's put it on a track. Let's give it track one. Put some effects on it. I got the preset ready. Derek, what's going on? I said, I love Kumin. Glad to hear that, Derek. There we go. And, um... I want the Derek apology thing. Let's let's go uh, Derek Ip. Or Derek Watch? Was it? I think it was Derek Watch. Let's see, is this his actual channel? Oh, this is his actual channel. Holy shit. Derek C sings the Kanon the Waving Flag song. I'm teaching you at the end of the day. They say when I get older, I will be stronger. They'll call me freedom, just like a wave. <laughs> oh, you guys back, can't see this. Then it goes back, and then it goes back, then it goes. Get older, I will be stronger. They'll call me freedom, just like a wave. And flat, and then it goes okay, back. okay, get, get the fuck out of here. Let's see what else we got. Me proving I'm the Logitech 2K champ. Let's see hey guys, the. Derek here, and I. I believe that I am the Logitech 2K champion, champ, because... Stop being dense. I love being awesome, cool. <laughs> the champ is here. Oh, this is it, dude. This is it. Let this me, is golden. This is awesome. Repeat that again. The champ is here. I need this whole clip. I need this whole thing. I'm recording it. Hey, guys. Derek here, and I... I believe that I am the Logitech hey guys, 2K Derek's here. Champion, champ because I love being awesome, cool, and the champ is here. Let me repeat that again. The champ is here. The champ. The champ is here. <laughs> I'm scared, Bye. Hey guys. Did he, in, in, in the end, he said, My name is Darish. <laughs> My name is Darish. Bye. My name is Darish. Bye. <laughs> this is so special. Hold on. Oh no, I didn't record it. Holy shit, this sucks. Hey guys, Darish here. And I I believe that. I, hey guys, Darish here. And I. You get a repeat. I believe that I am the Logitech 2K champion. Champ. Because I love I'm, being I'm, awesome, I'm drinking. cool, and. The champ is here. Let me repeat that again. The champ is here. The champ. The champ is here. My name is Darish. Bye. <laughs> this was great. This was hot. What a great, fantastic clip. Um, Darish here. 
is how it's called. I guess if the is the song gonna be called like the champ is here, then it could be some kind of like triumphant, like horns and everything going on, and that's gonna be the idea of the song. It's like the champ is here. He's the Coomer champ. Uh, but let's see what else he got. He he has the Q and A video. That's very interesting. Hey guys, uh, Derek here, and in this video, this is my very first Q&A video where you guys, uh, will be putting down your questions in the comments below. Thank <laughs> you for God what people will be doing in that video. <laughs> this is my first video where we, you guys, uh, um, I don't know, just do something. And I will be answering them on May 10th, 2015, which is a Sunday. And you guys in the comments below uh, decide, should I do it Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon? There might be some good questions that told me that tell Claus to tell Claus. So this is just like, th there's no actual Q&A in this one. But here are the answers. Let's see some answers. Hey guys, Derek here, and right now it's 12.33 p.m. Sunday after- Speaking of which, I need to hit the bathroom, but uh, I want you guys to be actually watching something, so let's hit up uh, Dark Side Phil gaming style like thing. Anywhere. So watch his gameplay while I go to the bathroom. Yeah. Sounds good? Yes, it does. There are magazines on the shelf. Some of them look interesting, but it's not time for that. Ain't got time for that! Water cup. Ooh, look at this. Shakespeare. So we got Shakespeare anthologies. I just gotta put them in order. Oh, they're going to form a word. Do you see this? They're going to form a... Oh, they're going to form a code. <clears throat> okay. Okay, once again, we're back with another hot content. Um, and Phil is at 40 out of 50 with the one-minute man in the lead. So it's basically everything as expected. Anyways, let's go back to the hot Derek content. Let's find some stuff out about Derek. And you guys, and this is the Q and A. This is the Q and A. I'm gonna be answering your questions. In I'm gonna the be answering your questions right now in this video, and it will be posted to YouTube right after I finish the Q and A. So let's get right to the questions. Let's actually see what he has on his, um, let's, let's see what he has on his default screen. Oh, it's basically a, a whole lot of nothing. Okay. And he, he plays FIFA as well. Oh, wow. A fellow football fan. Very interesting. Probably. What, um, what's 9 plus 10? 21! <laughs> or 910! Why do you pronounce Claw's name like Claw Us? I don't pronounce his name Claw Us. I pronounce his name Claws almost every day when I watch his streams. Do I need to put a question mark at the end of my question? Yes, you do. Can this be my fifth question? Yes. Uh, yes, it can be your fifth question. Bro, with this dude, like, I, I can't take any voice lines from him because, I mean, they're they're all bad. They're all bad. I guess. <laughs> like, it doesn't say anything that makes any sense or is usable. Um, I so I guess I need to... to make a song of DSP clips about Derek. Play is, um, either Boom Beach or, um, Boom Beach or, uh, Flappy Bird, I think. Like, bro, uh, you, you, you've seen these questions already. You should know the answers. I don't play Flappy Bird anymore, so it has to be Boom Beach, I guess. Okay, fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this this weird lore. And th that's a good DSP face. Look at this. <laughs> He's giving you like the gun hand towards the food. Only put it on the chicken as well. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, let's see. There was a, a, a new Derek thing where he was defending him from people bullying him. But I don't think they're... Um, 
a good clips of that. Oh yeah, there is a that's that's a good reminder. There is a Derek Watch channel that uploads Derek type clips. I think. Oh, it's still here. And it has the apology. There it is. I'm going to put it in the beginning. Hey guys, it's Derek here, and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry. And I wanted to, wanted to tell Reese that she will always be one of my many favorite porn stars to watch. Hey guys, it's Derek here, and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry. And I wanted to, wanted to tell Reese that she will always be one of my many favorite porn stars to watch. <laughs> Reese Robbins looked Derek like this, I bro. I wanted to apologize to <laughs> Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry. And I wanted to, wanted to tell Reese that she yeah, will shut the fuck up, Derek, dumbass. Favorite porn stars to watch. Hey guys, it's Derek here, and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry. And I want. There's to also uh, you might have heard this in this song. Um, in the They Were Right song. Yeah, this one. In the very beginning, you can hear when when it's um when it's Craig's intro, and you can hear in the background the Derek apology thing. That's because the the clip was from Duty Stream when he was showing them the Derek apology clip, and it was just rolling underneath. So you can actually hear it if you listen close. It's, it's disappointing uh, to me, and it's sad, but at the same time, oh, is there is here. once again, all the detractors, they said this was going to happen, and they were right. Holy shit, Phil. The detractors, they were right. Okay, we got this uh, this one clip. Let's put it somewhere in the beginning. But then I need more clips of, uh, okay, let's see, DSP Derek. Maybe somebody made a video about it. Uh, DSP reacts to apology video. That's a that's a cool one. Uh, number one fan harasses a lady so much he has to apologize. Yeah, that's the. Yep, yep. Accidentally bans Derek. Let's see this one. Okay. All right, this definitely is not Derek. He's trying to distract me. He says, "How many cities in California can you name?" Derek would not be <laughs> asking random shit like that. So that's not him, and I'm banning. Him. <laughs> Derek would never be asking random shit like that. He is not known for asking random shit. That's definitely not Derek. When okay. has Derek asked random shit in the past? Come on, get real. He's getting banned. Oh. Open now. He got a DM from from Phil. Derek, Derek is Phil, now saying I might you have banned his YouTube account. <laughs> All right, Derek. Here's what I'll do. Um. I'm gonna have to try to figure this out. See, I, I don't think I banned Derek. You literally did, though. Here we go. In chat is fake now. I know every single Derek in chat is fake now. How many Derricks were there in chat? Like this there were like right ten Derricks, and they were all spamming Disney facts, so you can't tell which is the real one. Uh, it's great, man. This this Derrick shit is great. And then I can't find it. So let's see again. Pig pig go dot net and four oh four not found. Okay. Pig pig go dot net. Pig pig go. There we go. Let's see, Derek. Let's spell it the proper way. Nothing comes out. Derek. Okay, so now we have a different Derek, but this from 2020. Let's see this. Derek, sometimes he says, Does Jasper like to play hide and seek around the house? Um, sometimes, <laughs> not always. I can edit this as uh, Does Jasper like to coom? And then he can say sometimes, but that doesn't make for a good song. That just kind of exists. Let's see what I have here right now. Hey guys, it's Derek Shear and I want Hey guys, it's Derek Shear and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry. And I wanted to wanted to tell Reese that she will always be one of my many favorite porn stars to watch. Derek, what's going on? I said I love Kuman. Glad to hear that, Derek. 
I I believe that I, hey guys there's you and I believe that I, hey guys there's you and I I believe that I am the Logitech 2K champion champ because I love being awesome cool and the champ is here oh this is the good one this is a good one the champ is here with the auto tune and shit oh that's very nice um but let's let's get some more clips before we jump actually and try and arrange it into something that actually makes sense i think is um let's let's see if there was uh, a part of my family when somebody asked them uh is derek a part of my family no there's not part of my family Part of my family, part of my family. Oh, he has such a big family. It's mostly talking about Jasper. Ah, <sighs> DSP, Derek, family. Let's look this up. Where did that clip go? Was that on a channel that was taken down? Come on. What is this one? 50 bit Bick cheered and said, Would I like to meet Derek on one of my days off? I, I would like to meet Derek someday. That would be nice. Thing. He would like to meet Derek someday. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even believe himself. What is this one? Derek Day 2022. A well-behaved uh, and interactive stream viewer is. All right. Derek, happy birthday, wherever you are. Hope you have a good one. He's just here to be a positive guy on the stream and just chat it up and enjoy the content. Rage counter thing for the cheer. Or, or excuse me, rage quick counter thing for the cheer, but no, there is no Derek Day. Rich with Connor cheer again, talking about Derek Day, and that's not Derek Day coming up. Laugh. You couldn't even do that. You couldn't wish him a happy birthday. The champ is here. Let me repeat that again. The champ is here. No, it's a trick. You're not my son. Oh, I can't find it, man. And for this song, I would have to, like, actually look up stuff. Uh, I don't know. Without Pick Pick Go, I'm completely lost on this. Because there was, like, one where he's like, No, Derek is not a part of my family. And Derek is not my son. ESP, not my son. Let's look up this. Not a children's entertainer. Blah, 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 blah. It's not really it. Hmm. DSP Derek. I don't know what else I can look up. Reacts to apology video. Yeah, I, I went through these already. And Derek has a new job. Squeeze banana song. Hmm. Date night with Derek. This is the marked one stream. They, these are hot. These are really fucking good. Uh, let's see what else we got. This is how you don't interact. The Derek edition. Oh. For spamming the chat with the same comments over and over again because he's not an asshole like you. His comments are usually meaningful and have something to do pertinent to what we're doing. Um, when he does do it too much, we the go. mods have warned him from time to time, don't overdo it. But he's a nice guy. Ah, is that more salt? All right, Derek, I'll see you when you can make it, man. I'll be, as you know, I'll be streaming this as the mainstream all day. <laughs> I won this first Why clip. I can always use this first clip. It's really good. Why doesn't Derek get banned for spamming the chat with the same comments over and over again? Because he's not an asshole like you. Not an asshole. He's usually meaningful and have some They're meaningful comments. Um, when he does do it too much, the, the mods have warned him from time to time. Don't overdo it. But he's a nice guy. Ah, is that more salt? <laughs> all right, Derek, I'll see when you can make it, man. I'll be, as you know, I'll be streaming this as the mainstream all day. Oh, that's right. It's uh, Chinese Lunar New Year, right? I forgot about that, Derek. Okay. <laughs> Derek says, Cyndaquil have two awesome evolutions, Killava and Titan. Well, I wish you a, a, a good celebration when you get to it. Ah, look! Oh, I don't know about this song, man. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. I don't have enough clips. It's really hard to find. And I'm feeling lazy. So I might just end the stream now. Sound good? I believe that I hey guys, Derek, I'm Derek here. And I, I believe that I am the Logitech 2K champion. Champ. Because... I love being awesome, cool, and the champ is here. Okay, let's put up a let's 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 make up some instrumental. Sound good? Oh, Derek with two R's. Hey, that that might be something. We might actually have something on our hands here. 
see Derek with uh because like who fucking knows how it gets indexed if it's like Derek every single pro oh yeah there's a lot of Derek's here and this these are from uh 2023 every single episode this is completely fake Derek what that is a completely fake Derek that is absolutely a faker look ban that fuck face <laughs> he hates him so much uh, Chad, since there's a fake Derek, all of them are about fake Derek's, aren't they? Derek loved these toys. What? Derek loved these toys. Derek loves any De Derek. Derek Jasper loves the toy. That oh yeah, this is when he called Derek. him. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, you send me a, a DM on Discord. Okay, let's let's see it. Let's see it. Oh my god, the fake hair hat. Boy, yo, 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 and now I'm gonna masturbate to this stream. Oh, there we go. Yeah, this is hot, man. Boy, oh, 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 my God, the fake hair hat. Boy, oh, 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 and boy, oh, 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 to this stream. Oh, my up. God, the fake hair hat. Oh, boy, oh, 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 and now I'm going to masturbate. Boy hold on, hold on. Boy, oh, 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 and now I'm going to masturbate to this stream because Phil put a hat on. Big ups, uh, big ups, hate army for this clip. This is a hot clip. Okay, so we, we might actually have something. It's a false alarm. We're not ending the stream just yet. Let's try put something together. Something. Anything. 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 Please. Please. Um, okay, let's see what we got first in the beginning. Hey guys, it's Derek here, and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry. Let's put some random beat together. Let's say 130 BPM. Let's say 130. And say that uh, random clip. Okay, this, this sounds good. Say it's this one. Hey guys, it's Derek here, and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry. And I want to wanted to tell Reese that she will always be one of my many favorite points. Nah, this doesn't work. I don't know, I'm not really feeling these ones. Oh, let's see some other ones, some kind of a random type beat. I don't know, let's see these. Okay, let's say it's this one. Let's just say so, okay? Let's go on random here. Hey guys, it's Derek here, and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry. And I wanted to tell Reese that she will always be one of my many favorite porn stars to watch. Derek, what's going on? I said, I love Kumin. I'm glad to hear that, Derek. I, I believe that, hey guys, Derek here, and I, I believe that I am the Logitech 2K champion, champ, because I love being awesome, cool, and the champ is here. <laughs> okay, let's put some drum beat on this, so it, at least it sounds like a beat. Um, random, random beat. Let's find it here. Let's say it's this one, okay? Might not be great, but fuck it. Hey guys, watch. Derek, what's going on? I said, I love Kumin. Glad to hear that, Derek. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I need to put the champ is here in the beginning. The champ is here. The champ is here. <laughs> Derek, what's going on? I said, I love Kumin. Glad to hear that, Derek. I love being awesome, cool, and... Kumin. Let me repeat that again. The champ is here. The champ. The 
champ is here. My name's Derek Spikes. <laughs> yeah. Boy, 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 and now I'm gonna masturbate to this stream because Phil put a hat on. <laughs> All right. Well, this is something. Okay, we got we got something to start up. Uh, I I think is the the champ is here. That that's gonna be the song. The champ is here. The champ is here. Boy, oh, 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 and now I'm gonna masturbate to this stream because Phil put a hat on. Derek, what's going on? He said, I love cumin. I, I love being. I wanna I wanna stretch the cumin so it can be more. To this stream. Okay, let's let's see how this is now. Okay, so the, the song started with the apology. Hey guys, it's Derek here, and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry. And I wanted to, wanted to tell Reese that she will always be one of my many favorite porn stars to watch. The champ is here. The champ is here. Derek, what's going on? I said, I love Kumin. Glad to hear that, Derek. <laughs> I love you, awesome, cool, and... Wait, 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 wait. I had something going on here. He says, uh, I love Kumin. Hold on. Redo. I love you, I love you, awesome, cool, and... I love Kumin. I love Kumin. I love cumin. Okay, I guess. I love cumin. Cumin. Be awesome, cool, and cumin. <laughs> Let me repeat that again. The champ is here. The champ. The champ is here. Okay, okay, there was a uh, Ludwig posted a bunch of clips in a uh, in the discord. So let's listen to some of them You were coming when life gives you lemons you like lemonade, right? Cheese I'm by I'm by I'm by what? I'm I wanted to I'm suck him. What? I wanted to suck him. Oh my god. He's drinking Hulk Hogan's sperm. Hey, there was this one This hot sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something Oh yeah, this one is good. This one, I'm I'm stealing this one. Sometimes you gotta beat the shit out of something, man. You, you know how it is. Dudes be cumin. Yeah, let's see some other ones. Big anime boobies, and now you're looking for things to suck. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is gonna be the most sexual song ever. <laughs> this is gonna be the most uh, erotic song. It's gonna be so hot. All the clubs are gonna make you want to bust. I paid you. You do what I tell you now. I don't do anything. You go, oh, 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 you know. Fuck you. You're a liar. My body is weird. I'm gay and that's okay. I don't have to hide. Mmm. <laughs> I like it. Oh my god, he's drinking. Oh yeah, I want that. I like it. That's kind of like uh, ad libs level of stuff. But I like it. I enjoy it. I do like it. Milk, milk, milk. This is hardcore on hardcore mode. Oh, and uh, the this is hardcore. I want. Yeah. This is hardcore. Uh, and yeah, I could make it. Uh, the champ is cumin. <laughs> the champ is cumin. <laughs> the champ is here. The champ is here. Okay. The champ is here. The champ is cumin. Cumin. Derek, what's going on? I said, I love Glad to hear that, Derek. <laughs> I love cumin. Glad to hear that. Okay, cool stuff. Uh, I need more cumin. Cumin. Because there's like a, there's a kind of like a low point in the loop where it becomes silent. I want to insert the cumin into there so it can be emphasized more. Uh, 
Let's start from the beginning. The champ is here. The champ is Kumin. Kumin. Okay, here's someone. Kumin. Kumin. I love Kumin. Kumin. Being awesome, cool, and Kumin. <laughs> Let me repeat that again. The champ is here. The champ. The champ is here. My name is Darish Bai. My name is Darish Bai. <laughs> All right. All right. Um... Okay, let's let's start from the beginning. Think about it a little bit. Hey guys, it's Derek here, and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry, and I wanted to wanted to tell Reese that she will always be one of my many favorite porn stars to watch. The champ is here. The champ is Kumin. Kumin. What's going on? I said, I love Kumin. <laughs> Kumin. Let's see. Um, so here in the empty spots, I can fill it up with some ad libs, some like random ad libs. And now you're looking for things to suck. Kumin. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then we have a I like it. Hold on. And now you're looking for things to suck. Kumin. I like you. Kumin. I love Kumin. Right? Oh, that sounds good. Let's see what we got here. Okay, let's start from... Let's finalize this first part, right? So I can move on. The chap is here. Wait, what? What happened? Something th something got messed up with the autotune. Doesn't sound like it used to. The chap is here. What? The chap is here. What the fuck happened? Maybe it's just me though, but it sounds like it's in a different key now. Very weird. The chap is here. The chap is coming. The chap. Oh yeah. Here. The chap is coming. The chap is here. The chap is coming. Okay, the first part is done. That's that's how it's gonna be. Champ is here. Champ is coming. And now you're looking for things to suck. Coming. I like you. Coming. I love being awesome. I love being awesome. Hardcore. Uh. I love. I love. I I have. I love here, so I can use that and put in the. I love this is hardcore. Hardcore. I love hardcore. That's what I'm gonna make it into. Uh. Okay. I love hardcore. I love hardcore cumin. I can add an extra layer. I love hardcore cumin. I love hardcore. Kumin, being awesome, cool, and Kumin. <laughs> I love being awesome, cool, and Kumin. <laughs> everything is Kumin. We end everything on Kumin. That en encapsulates Derek to perfect degree. Uh. I love hardcore. Kumin, of being awesome, cool, and Kumin. Let me repeat that again. The champ is here. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I, I forgot the boy oing. -oing. Uh, yeah, cause cause that those make for fantastic ad libs. So let's not oversaturate this with with too many clips. Let's start it from this uh this here. And now you're looking for things to stop. Kumin. Boy, oy, 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 and now I'm gonna masturbate to the stream. I love hardcore. Kumin. 
of being awesome, cool, and cool. Let me repeat that again. The champ is here. <laughs> this is the dumbest fucking shit I've ever made. And now you're looking for things to stop. Cumin. Boy, 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 now I'm gonna masturbate. And I need another cumin here. A masturbate. A masturbate. Cumin. I love. Okay. A masturbate. Cumin. I love. Hardcore. Cumin. Of being awesome, cool, and cumin. Let me repeat that again. The champ is here. This beat is fucking hot though. <laughs> the the random beat generator kind of worked out. I love hardcore. And now you're looking for things to suck. Cumin. Boy, 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 boy. Now I'm gonna masturbate. Cumin. I love hardcore. Cumin. Of being awesome, cool, and cumin. Let me repeat that again. The champ is here. Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. Cumin. <laughs> hey guys, it's Derek here, and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry. And now, I and now, now uh, Snood sent me some soundbite. Let's see what this one is. That was a pretty good one where they were touching the guy's penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this this is the 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 coolest shit. This is somehow the gayest shit I've ever made. And I made songs about literally putting baby oil on him. And yeah, it's uh it's ridiculous. But I I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. I love the horse. So let's see where this one is gonna fit because it's very important how we fit this. The champ is here. The champ is cumin. And now you're looking for things to suck. Cumin. Boy, 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 boy. Now I'm gonna masturbate. Cumin. I love hardcore. Cumin. That was a pretty good one. They were touching the guy's penis. Cumin. <laughs> Let me repeat that again. The champ. Let me repeat that again. I need this one too. So uh, let's start from here. I love hardcore. Cumin. That was a pretty good one where they were touching the guy's penis. Cumin. <laughs> Let me repeat that again. I love. Let me repeat that again. I love. Let me repeat that again. I love cumin, of course. Obviously, that's going to be the, the, the obvious choice. I love cumin. <laughs> Let me repeat that again. I love cumin. Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. That was a pretty good one where they were touching the guy's penis. And of course I can cut only the sus part. So it's gonna sound like this. Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. Touching the guy's penis. <laughs> Touching the guy's penis. There we go. Hardcore. And uh, and then we got this one. Oh, yo, 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 link. Now I'm gonna masturbate. So let's let's see how this sounds. Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. Touching the guy's penis. And now I'm gonna masturbate. <laughs> okay, let's hear the whole thing again. Hey guys, it's Derek here, and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry, and I wanted to, wanted to tell Reese that she will always be one of my many favorite porn stars to watch. The champ is here. The champ is cumin. 
and now you're looking for things to sell. Oh, Derek, what's going on? I said, I love cumin. Glad to hear that, Derek. Oh, yo, 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 and now I'm gonna masturbate. Cumin. I love hardcore. Cumin. That was a pretty good one where they were touching the guy's penis. Cumin. Let me repeat that again. I love cumin. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. Touching the guy's penis. And now I'm gonna masturbate. <laughs> okay, if I can put them in like a in a catchy sequence, this is gonna be a banger. But right now I, I'm not happy with what I have. I'm I'm very happy with the clips. It, it's much better than what I started off with when I was desperate because there weren't a lot of Derek clips. And now people crowdfunded the clips, which is the, the best part of a chill and interactive stream. So we got we got golden clips such as boing, and now I'm about now I'm about to master masturbate. Boing, and now I'm gonna masturbate. Cumin. Okay. Let's start. I know this is pretty obnoxious, but this is just the process. So let's start from the beginning. Uh from the beginning of the hook and try and arrange it in a way that makes sense. In a in like a rap kind of way. The chap is here. The chap is cooling. And are you looking for? Okay, so this this part here, I'm gonna take away, and I'm gonna make another repeat of the champ is here, and then the champ is cooling. Uh. The chap is here. The chap is cooling. Oops. Yeah, it is gonna be like a duet song. It's gonna be both of them are gonna be credited as as the artist. The chap, the chap, the chap, the chap, the chap, the chap is here. The chap, ah, fuck this. The chap is here. The chap is cooling. Doesn't fit exactly again. The chap. There we go. Is here. The chap is cumin. And then we got the second part of the hook, and now I can do some some crazier stuff. I love hardcore. Cumin. That was a pretty good one where they were touching the guy's penis. <laughs> I want the I want just the touching the guy's penis part. I want it to be as sus as possible. Like insanely sus. I love hardcore. I love hardcore. I love hardcore. Let's see. I love hardcore. Cumin. I love. Uh, let's try. I love touching the guy's penis. <laughs> that's some. <laughs> that's some good shit. I love touching the guy's penis. Cumin. Cumin. I love touching the guy's penis. Cumin. Cumin. I love touching the guy's penis. Just to stop. Cumin. I love touching the guy's penis. Cumin. Ah, oh, let's see what we got here. We got cumin. We got Derek. We got Derek. We got boing. I think the boing belongs here. It's 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 just too good. It's too good not to be here. I love. I love. I love. Masturbate. And now I'm gonna masturbate. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Let's let's see this one here. And instead of having the the Derek say I love, we're gonna start with uh, Phil saying I'm gonna masturbate. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Cumin. And now I'm gonna masturbate. And just the masturbate part now. Masturbate. There we go. Masturbate. Cumin. <laughs> This is all so stupid. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Cumin. Masturbate. Cumin. Let me repeat that again. I love cumin. Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. Pushing the guy's penis. And now I'm gonna masturbate. I have kind of like a, a verse going on here, which I'm pretty satisfied with. Because this starts with some kind of a flow, right? Listen to this. Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. Pushing the guy's penis. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. 
touching the guy's penis. And now I'm gonna masturbate. So <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, beat your demons is good, but it's kind of um it's like super out of context. And it's by somebody else. I'm gonna fucking pound the fuck out of these guys. There we go! Snood comes through with another badass sample. They fucked me again, left and right, and my ass is so <laughs> stretched out at this point, it's time to push back. Oh, you guys are getting too sus. Snood, why do you, why why you got all these samples on speed dial? What what's up with that? The old cowards don't even smoke crack. Uh okay, let's uh let's get all of these samples up in here. Because this is this is why it's cool to make this shit live. Because I would never find these. And I would make some repetitive ass shit with like five different samples. And now I'm gonna masturbate. And my ass is so cool. Man. <laughs> okay, so now I have a plethora of samples. I just need to put them together in a way that actually makes sense. Actually makes sense. And this is gonna be the, the new anthem of all the Coomers. They're all gonna be listening to this in the club. They're just gonna be committing like crimes and be put on like a sex offenders registry and shit <laughs> the champ is here the champ is coming the champ is here the champ is coming and now i'm gonna masturbate coming masturbate coming let me repeat that again. I love cumin. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. Touching the guy's penis. And now I'm gonna masturbate. It's cumin. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Cumin. Okay, let's see which one of the new clips can uh, can fit in here somewhere. So this is one of them. But the effect. I'm gonna fucking pound the fuck out of these guys. I'm gonna fucking pound. Okay, let's see the pound the fuck out of these guys. Oh wow, there's a lot of clips going on at the same time. That was a mistake. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Pound the fuck out of these guys. Okay, this is going at the verse. Because uh, in the verse, we need all the, the sus clips. All of them. Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. Pound the fuck out of these guys. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Touching the guy's penis. <laughs> this is so fucking lit, man. This is so lit. Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. Pound the fuck out of these guys. Touching the guy's penis. And now I'm gonna masturbate. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Coomin! Coomin! Hey guys, it's Derek here, and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry. And I wanted to, I wanted to tell Reese that she will always be one of my many favorite porn stars to watch. The champ is here. The champ is Coomin. The champ is here. The champ is Coomin. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Coomin. Masturbate. Coomin. Let me repeat that again. I love Coomin. Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. Pound the fuck out of these guys. Touching the guy's penis. And now I'm gonna masturbate. I'm gonna masturbate. Coomin. Hey guys, it's Gary Shearer, and I want to. This is somehow gayer than all the Eric Miller songs that I've made. Somehow. And those were like literally in context, super gay. Super gay. They were intended to be gay. The chap is here. The chap is Coomin. The chap is here the champ is coming and now i'm gonna masturbate wait 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 i think this one since i used it already you're looking for things to suck coming 
masturbate. Cumin. Let me repeat that again. I love cumin. Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. I'm the fuck out of these guys. Touching the guy's penis. And now I'm gonna masturbate. And then I can sneak this one in. And now you're looking for things to suck. And now I'm gonna masturbate. <laughs> so this, okay, here's the verse. And now you're looking for, looking for Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. How the fuck out of these guys touching the guy's penis. And now I'm gonna masturbate. And now you're looking for things to suck. And now I'm gonna. Okay, so let's put this here. Uh, let's say. And now you're looking for things to suck. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Cumin. Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. How the fuck out of these guys touching the guy's penis? And now you're looking for things to suck. Again, and my ass. And now I'm gonna ma to suck. <laughs> I remembered I didn't. I didn't integrate literally, literally the gayest fucking soundbite. Them right, and my ass is so fucking stretched out at this point, it's time to push back. <laughs> they fucked me again, left and right, and my ass is so fucking stretched out at this point, it's time to push back. Okay, well, this, this has to be, this whole clip is like, verse worthy. Fuck me again. Fuck me again. Because it's so passionate. You you can say he means it. When he drops bars, he means it. They, 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 they fucked me again. <laughs> Let's sink it a little bit. They fucked me again. Left and right. And my ass is so fucking stretched out at this point. It's time to push back. They fucked me again, left and right, and my ass is so fucking stretched out at this point, it's time to push back. They fucked me again, left and right. Guys, touching the guy's penis. And now you're looking for things to suck. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Ass is so fucking stretched that sometimes they you fucked just me again. Okay, so let's, uh... How do I piece it together into making some kind of sense? Let me think about it a little bit. <sighs> uh... They fucked me again, left and right. They fucked me again, left and right. How the fuck out of these guys? They're looking for things to suck. Can we get a Vahu in here? Uh, I, I don't have any of those, uh, but you can get a, um, I'm drinking. I'm drinking. A couple more times. I'm drinking. I'm drink. I'm drink. I'm drinking. And I can be drinking. Big up spikes. Welcome. They fucked me again. Left and right. I'm the fuck out of these guys. So what do I have here? We have sometimes you gotta beat the shit out of something. I like that. I like that one, but I can't really fit it in this one. It's kind of uh I have to pick which ones I wanna fit. It's very hard. Now I have I feel like DSP, dude, because I have too many samples now. And before that I had too few samples, so I have to pick the best ones. And before that I didn't even have enough to pick. So it's very very complicated business. Very complicated business. They fucked me again, left and right. Found the fuck out of these guys. Found the fuck out of these guys, and let's see, uh, yeah, this, this one is good, okay. Okay. They fucked me again, left and right. Found the fuck out of these guys. Pushing the guy's penis. And now you're looking for things to suck. Okay, this is this is mega gay. I think I came up with the the gayest configuration available. They fucked me again, left and right. I'm the fuck out of these guys. Punching the guy's penis. And now you're looking for things to suck. And now I'm gonna masturbate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... 
I think uh, I want the boing part of this too, because it's great. They're looking for things to suck. Looking for things to suck. Boing, 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 and now I'm gonna masturbate. I see so fucking stretched out. They fucking me again, left and right. I'm the fuck out of these guys. Touching the guy's penis. And now you're looking for things to suck. Boing, 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 and now I'm gonna masturbate. And now you're looking for things to suck. They fucked me again, left and right. I'm the fuck out of these guys. Punching the guy's penis. And now you're looking for things to suck. Beat the shit out of something. <sighs> Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something. Cool. <laughs> they fucked me again. Okay, let's move on with the with the second type chorus. I'm still not done with the first one. So I want this to go pretty simple. Intro with the, the, the Derek apology segment. Then we, we jump right into the, the chorus. We do it like twice because it's like it's all one thing. Then we do one small verse. Then we do another chorus. Then maybe another verse because I got some, some leftover samples. So let's try and getting the chorus first so I can just copy paste it into the, the other one. The chap is here. The chap is coming. The chap is here. The chap is coming. Now you're looking for things to suck. Coomin. Masturbate. Coomin. Let me repeat that again. I love coomin. <laughs> Uh, the is here. The champ is coming. The champ is here. The champ is coming. And are you looking for things to suck? Coming. Wait, wait, wait. I need this one. Coming. Touching the guy's penis. Coming. Let me repeat that again. Okay, so the Derek, let me repeat that again, is a great one, but it doesn't really belong here. Uh, the second part of the chorus is going to go like this. It's just going to be some some sound clip, then we get cumin. Then another sound clip, then we get cumin. And now you're looking for things to suck. Cumin. Pushing the guy's penis. Cumin. Pushing the guy's penis. Cumin. Okay. Uh, then we got uh, what do we got here? Derek here, hardcore. Let's take the the hardcore one. Let's see what this is about. And obviously, the song is gonna be called Cumin. Touching the guy's penis. Cumin. Hardcore. Cumin. <laughs> Hardcore! Cumin! Okay. Hardcore! Cumin! Cumin! Hardcore! Cumin! Cumin! And now you're looking for- And now I'm gonna masturbate! Coomin! 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 They fucked me again! Left and right! I'm the fuck out of these guys! Touching the guy's penis! And now you're looking for things to suck! Sometimes you just gotta beat the shit out of something! Coomin! Okay, um, it's not terrible, but I think there's some point where we kind of need to let the beat flow. Now you're looking for things to suck. Sometimes you just gotta. Now you're looking for things to suck. Coomin. They fucked me again, left and right. I'm the fuck out of these guys. Punching the guy's penis. And now you're looking for things to suck. Fucking stretched out at this point. It's time to push back. Coomin. 
Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Okay, so let's see this one. And my ass is so fucking stretched out at this point. Coomin. Hey guys, it's Derek here, and I want to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely okay, let's, sorry. Let's hear the whole thing. I think it's kind of doable at this point. I know it's been repetitive. I know it's been a long journey. Let's fucking hear it. Hey guys, it's Derek here, and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry. And I wanted to, wanted to tell Reese that she will always be one of my many favorite porn stars. The chat. No, no. No. The chat needs to suck. It's here. Okay, let's start from the beginning. I shit it all up. Hey guys, it's Derek here, and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry. And I wanted to, wanted to tell Reese that she will always be one of my many favorite porn stars to watch. The chap is here. The chap is coming. The chap is here. The chap is coming. And now you're looking for things to suck. Coomin. Touching the guy's penis. Coomin. <laughs> Hardcore. Coomin. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Coomin. They fucking me again. Left and right. I'm the fuck out of these guys. Punching the guy's penis. And now you're looking for things to suck. And my ass is so fucking stretched out at this point. Coomin. The chap is here. The chap is coming. The chap is here. The chap is coming. And now you're looking for things to suck. Coomin. Touching the guy's penis. Coomin. Hardcore. Coomin. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's it. More or less. <sighs> hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Let's see. I mean, I guess that's it. It's a minute and a half. I think that's enough because it's super repetitive. So I don't want it to go like above and beyond and get like just tedious. Uh, so. Let's see if there's something that I can tweak. The champ coming. The champ is here. The champ is coming. And now you're looking for things to suck. Coomin. Yeah, the coomin, the it's it's not exactly on beat. I want it to be like this kind of. Is this good? And now you're looking for things to suck. Coomin. Touching the guy's penis. Coomin. Hardcore. Coomin. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Coomin. They fucking me again. Left and right. Hey, big ups, uh, Nero for the super sticker of a creature doing something. Big ups. And now you're looking for things to suck. Coomin. Touching the guy's penis. Coomin. Coomin. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Coomin. They fucking me again. Left and right. I'm the fuck out of these guys. Punching the guy's penis. And now you're looking for things to suck. He's so fucking stretched out at this point. And my ass is so fucking stretched out at this point. He does shit out of something. The chap. Is here. The chap is coming. The chap is here. The chap is coming. And now you're looking for things to suck. Coomin. Touching the guy's penis. Coomin. Hardcore. Coomin. And now I'm gonna masturbate. Derek, what's going on? I said, I love Coomin. I'm glad to hear that, Derek. <laughs> and I guess that's it, man. I guess that's it.
it's a uh, pretty pretty simple i don't know how long it took it's probably like an hour but uh yeah i mean i guess i guess that's it it's nothing special it's just cumin and cumin is nothing special to be honest you just you just you know boy i'm gonna masturbate and that's how it works Hey guys, it's Derek here, and I wanted to apologize to Reese Robbins. I'm extremely sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, that, that, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, my name is Derek at the end. Uh, bye. I, I want to add this one. Which part was this from? Derek here. I think it was this one. Oh yeah, the champ is here. Yeah. <laughs> this is so good. Here in the end somewhere. My name's Derek Spike. <laughs> You're like. My name's Derek Spike. My name's Derek Spike. Hey. My name's Derek Spike. Uh, let's make this a little bit longer though, because otherwise, without subtitles, nobody's gonna be able to tell what is actually being said in this clip. My name's Derek Spike. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. My name's Derek Spike. Hey guys, it's I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Uh, I guess that's it. That's that's it. That's the song. I'm gonna render it now, and I'm probably gonna make the video for it tomorrow. Uh, Kumin. But you were here. You saw it. You saw it happen, dude. And it was very fun. Uh, the first song didn't work out because um, it was too edgy. Apparently. Cumin? You think it's cumin? Maybe it's cumin. Yeah, this is the cumin clip. Uh, yeah, you can rewind the stream if you want to see why the first song didn't work out, even though it was a pretty much a banger. Actually, I can play it right now so you can see what it was. It was the Black Pill Mafia. Oh, fuck! Shit! Fuck! I didn't save this. Fuck! I didn't save the project for this one. So it's literally gone. Literally is gone. Do I have a backup? I think I do. Hey guys, it's Oh, I have a backup. Thank God. Cumin. Okay. Because I, I did render the actual song, but in case I wanted to go back and, and try it out. Okay. It's good. It's been saved. So this was the, the OG song, the Black Pill Mafia, with uh, the song Marry Yourself. Hey, the feminist killer. Hashtag logitorium. Living life as a black pillar. If you're ready to risk it all right now, take the black pill and live as the black pillar. That was my bitch. My bad bitch is solitude. Bury yourself. Bury yourself. Bury yourself. Bury yourself. Bury yourself. People like to use you. People like to abuse you. Marry yourself. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Uh, well, the villain song is probably not coming soon because he doesn't have any good voice clips. Not, not any that I could find. So yeah, uh, there we go. I guess that's that's it for the stream, dude. Uh, you can go check out whoever is live now on this fucking platform we call YouTube. And uh, I don't know. Uh, does uh, Pastor Miller have something to say? Suck a dog off. I guess that's it. I guess that's it. Oh yeah, DSP's chat is arguing about soda. I actually have no idea. Uh, but anyways, see you guys around. Peace out. Uh, big ups. See ya. Thumbs up.